Thank you.
<laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Friday, so this is gonna be the last stream before the weekend. Did everyone have a good night? Oh, Silverwing. Right from the beginning. So, so nice that you are here. Impiles, Tommy, Senior Flamingo, Catalu, Shorty, Capital TV for the first time, I think. Oh, rotoscoping hairs all night. That sounds. <laughs> Amazing. David JNF, good morning to you. Been watching your VODs last few days though. Thank you. That's I I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> I always like, so there's like a few streamers where I watch VODs, even if they are long, like three hours plus. But I have to admit like a six hour VOD, I don't know if I would watch that. But I don't know. So uh, I'm happy that people seem to enjoy them. So there's not like crazy views on them or anything, but it's still, it's an archive. Maybe at some point I will do a cut down of that. Good morning, Task. Good morning, good morning. When rotoscoping has, you can turn off your brain and watch a VOD. Oh yeah, okay, I can see that, yeah. I, I used to do stuff like that, like watching streams or like really long, calming content when I had to do very repetitive work for a long time so i can i can see that this helps yeah cataloo good morning <laughs> morning espresso plus zomax stream equals bob Do we have a plan for today? I don't know. I have, do we? Do do I have a plan? You guys want to see last? Oh, by the way, I might have to end the stream a little bit earlier today because I have to practice for my driver's license thing. <laughs> so I will take. I I don't know. Let's maybe do four or five hours instead of six, and then do uh, then I will learn and practice so last night I did a rendering the wife's feeling better I think yes oh capital DV thank you so much for your tier one sub for six months crazy that's half a year. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, the, the wife is feeling better. I mean, she's still sick, but still, it's okay. You better stream for six months now. I don't know. So I'm thinking of, like, we have to finish this, of course. I don't know if it will take six months, though. It will take probably uh, longer, a few weeks more, a few months even. But six, I don't know. So I would say, when did I start this project? Uh, let's see. So I started this uh, that's gonna be two months soon in 15 days roughly
Yeah. So I think we're going to be at two, like maybe four, three, four months. And after that, uh, I might just do another project and uh, maybe play some games. I don't know. We will see. But that's yesterday's rendering. Like the high res version of it. I like the cables. So there's a few things I don't like. So when I showed that to Instagram, everyone was like, hey, that's, that's spaghetti. But it's not. So we have to change the color of this. Uh, we need to add something here. We need to add something here and I know what. And we need to add something here on top of these. So I was thinking that we could maybe add some hose. Something like that. Here. And then uh, we could add something like and then we will try to add something here. But for that, I there's like a few things I want to try. And that's the plan for today. So this, 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 and maybe that bungee cord thing here. And on Monday, about the brush, some brushes have a mix of colors, sort of pattern, blue, white, red. Oh, yes. Uh, on Monday, uh, I will add like price tags, maybe. Yeah, I think I will just make a blue white gradient. So we have like blue at the bottom and then it goes up. Oh no, white at the bottom and at the top it gets blue or something like that. So I will just try that. Anyways, I think that's it for that. We shall start, right? No much talking today, more working today. <laughs> How about making everything spaghetti? Everything spaghetti? Like the whole scene? Just everything? You could add some magazines or DVDs, VCRs on one of these shelves. Oh no, there's another place for that, probably. So, magazines is already planned. Uh, and it's like something here. There's another shelf that we need to fill. Here, I thought maybe to do like a newspaper thing, like a thing that you can attach to the door that hangs here. Oh, Silver Wings sent something. Yeah. No. Okay. I, I can see that, yes. Uh. Yeah, what about some VHS sets? Um, yeah, that's also something that I would rather put in here. So that's like a small item and it's just taking up too much time and I will just put like very dominant things in here. Quite dominant things. So I think here I will add like monitors or something. Or bye. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, okie dokie. Let's go for the big boy. Which is that one? takes a while and there we are cool it's still quite manageable in terms of speed hello corn boy how are you doing i'm doing just fine how are you tom so cables here we need like that pipey ropey thing on top i think actually so we have that scene, right? Assets. Um, what was that? 
computer something cable re register shelves uh i'm blind now computer cable sim that's the one mm. i'm also great your stream got me modeling random items and sorting them into folders well nice if that's not something tell you what let's do the toothbrush first so we have toothbrush no we have a shading scene toothbrush is in here so these go away toothbrush hello mm -hmm. so let's just go over that So that's the uh, toothbrush bristles. That's 110 subscribers already. That's insane. All right, so I can see why people think that looks like spaghetti. <laughs> so let's see. Hello, Neuronch. How are you? So that's the gradient, right? Um, so if we do that and make it blue, and this one more like white, You can also make the red tip. <laughs> I don't know. Moldy spaghetti for a second there. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a tool, uh, like, like, you know, li like a like a toothbrush, I think. For me, it looks like one. I don't know. The bristle distribution should be more uniform at the base of the brush. Okay. I don't want to do that. Like that. Uh, wait, let me think. So we have three bristles, right? Okay, let's, where's these stones? Let's just, let's just not do that. Uh, so this one, maybe, just maybe we have to change that. So it's more like that. And then it's, you know, ew. it's like straight at the bottom and then at the top, it, the bend 
is introduced there. Same goes for this one. Okay, and this one is just that. Hmm. So random is too much. Just maybe that. That and then like, let's do scale. Some of them. What? Like that. Uh, I would recommend looking into all Nitrix if you're feeling adventurous. That's so good for stuff like this. But if you only like make it on one toothbrush every three months, then it doesn't matter. No, I don't do that many toothbrushes. Also, who wrote me there? Don't they know I'm streaming? Oh, it's Lucas. <laughs> How is it going, Octaving? I am good. How are you? Thomas Palombo, good morning to you. It's too many Toms. One Tom has to go. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Please, st every Tom stay. Okay, but still, that's too nice. Um, we need like a little bit more like that. I think. Also, what's the chunks doing now? There are now chunks floating in, in the air. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's the coffee. Is there a proxy? Yes, there is. Yeah. Jokes on your you my real name isn't tom what's your real name though patrick <clears throat> hans gary justin helmut sergey peter Daniel, Craig, Marlon, Melvin, you are Melvin now, let's everyone, Ghosty is now Melvin, <laughs> that's his name, Melvin, decided, You're, Melvin is a very rare name, <laughs> it's just Ray, IDN, LDN, is that an I or an L? Anyway, hello Ray. Anyway, hello Ray. It even rhymes. Melvin with an E. LDN, alright. Okay, toothbrush bristles. Let, let's just say they're done. Let's copy that B. Uh, that means we have to replace it. Yeah, I mean, 
Hello, Ray. Can I call you Ray? Is that okay? It's, it's easier. Toothbrush. Okay, so that's the old one. Oh, we have to scale it. Does it fit though? It, it does. Okay, and now I think, can we just do something like remove unused materials? We have two toothbrushes now. Yes, we have. Tooth. Toothbrush. Let's go. Okay, now we do the fun part though. So, uh, we do another pipe sim, sim down here. Uh, we save that once again because you can never save often enough. Save this, close it. To R26 we go. Uh, Similar for D26. La 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 la. We have 793 followers. Do you think, guys, we can go for the 800 today? Is there seven people that didn't follow? so far <coughs> that's one empty coffee sad oh man i giggled at the friction thing you had yesterday well we we go in there with new knowledge and hopefully that doesn't happen again. I I actually I told that Raphael yesterday and he even he didn't know. So or did you? I I as I understood it, uh Silverwing uh, when we had like a chat over WhatsApp, you were like, Oh, I didn't know that. So if he doesn't know, it's okay. And everyone in the chat didn't know. Like, maybe. <laughs> Gernsch didn't know. I didn't know. So, hey, right? Okay, Silverwing didn't know, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the one we went with, right? Um... We can just use that as proxy, I would say. So let's make a copy of that. <laughs> by, by the way, guys, do you guys think I uh, will get COVID? So my wife has it and we're living in the same house. Ha ha ha, I am not the benchmark though. Well. <laughs> no, you are not. Like, I don't want to put that pressure on you or anything, but um, people look up up to you. But it, I know you are not the benchmark. There is no real benchmark for that. I mean, as we learned yesterday, even the very famous people sometimes don't know that there is an X-ray mode. <laughs> The thing is, um, do I know how high we can go? So we can't go too high, right? 
Well, let's just... Um, put a spline here. So something like that. Then we need axis, axis, center. And then, wait, why isn't that centering? What? What's that now? That used to work. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have to select points. Like I don't I don't usually I don't. Also what's that now? Why is it snapping back? What's that? My locked work plane? No. No. That's something entirely different. Ah, okay, that's that one. Usually that also is... I don't get the new C4D, guys. So it's entirely parametric. No, I, I want to recenter the axis. So, and here, if I go into that mode, right? So I can move that. And if I do that, I should be able to move the axis. But I can't. Like, just move it out. Doesn't work anymore. It used to do. I don't know. What's that? No, but that's, don't mind that. Just hear that now. Oh, what? So when once I have this open, that doesn't work. Oh my God, guys. That's so stupid. Or is it? Maybe it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Does it work now? This though still doesn't work. So what's what's with the splines? I wanna recenter them. Like that axis has to go de into the center of the splines. Maybe you were right and I have to select the points. So let's do hard interpolation though. It works, you have to use point center. Still doesn't work. I mean, it's not the center. The center would be here. Oh, because there's one point here. Nice. 
confusing. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I learned something once again. Okay, so let's say this is gonna be our profile. Uh, we have to find out though how big that tube is in the corner store. So I don't have any more to drink. Bad. So that's the one we want, right? And that's 3.24. So if we do that, right? And here we had something like that, I think. Oops. The simulation properties on oh, one, okay. And here the friction <laughs> 80. <laughs> okay, but I think so. That's the ropes, that's the rest. I think that should be fine. Fingers crossed. So that that one is just disabled. Uh, we might save that before we do anything. Okay. Um, so it's because of that. Let's do B spline uniform. And you know what? Why not do that right from the beginning? So, save it once more. And is that high res enough? I don't know. Let's do 15. I mean, it's not slipping like it used to. So, hmm. Art station. Oh, you can find my art station. Um. Zomax art station. There it is. R21 or 26, which one is better? Uh, I would probably say 26, technically, because it has more and better features. Uh, but it's also not really updated. If you want to go for my, um, wait, socials, there's a link tree. And um, with that, you can find all the profiles that matter. ArtStation is, I'm not that active on ArtStation. <coughs> okay. Okay. So, it's also a little bit slow, right? So maybe this is too high poly. Is that high poly? It's not really high poly. Let's, um, 
Let's just move that one over here, for example. Also, maybe, just maybe. Okay, that's not working. Can we point order reserved? No. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Let's uh, just add more pipe. That's the answer to everything in life. Add, add more pipe. Okay, now we're talking. Oh boy. Okay, that's not gonna work. But hey, right? Here goes nothing. Okay, maybe that's too much now. What do you do? use for post-running? Photoshop, yes. Extra design, hello. Can you tell me any, uh, can you, any useful tips like what's the best way to approach it? I'm interested in making career product visualization like your beer or shampoo bottles. Beer and shampoo bottles? Did I do beer and shampoo bottles? Oh, that's too much. Like, help me, when, where did I do beer and shampoo bottles? Oil. Oh, that's a really old project, though. So that's not, that was really not really, like, technically it was product visualization, but I wouldn't call it that. It was uh, that BSR project. Um, I don't know. So if you want to go down that road, I think you have to nail everything. Modeling, modeling, lighting, shading. That's the answer, <laughs> sorry. What's your favorite render? You mean render engine or render? Like the, my, my favorite um, render like my favorite rendered image is, I can show you that. I can show you that. That's Edison 333 from Color Sponge. This one, that's my favorite. Your work is so amazing, we love it. We, Tesk and I, oh, thank you so much, Exer. Also, greetings to Tesk. <laughs> I'm pretty good at modeling, but the rest I'm pretty bad. Well, then you should learn that because I think that's important. There's nothing, not not just one thing. Oh, like Octane, Redshift or anything. Yeah, yeah Octane is my favorite engine. Um... Do you ever work with After Effects as well? Yes, sometimes I do After Effects. Like when I do video stuff and motion graphics effects kind of stuff. So like text animations and things like that. Okay, so there is like here, we have like that breakout that we maybe don't want to have. Can we just get rid of that? I don't know. So we have this and it's just like super spaghetti. Maybe it's too much spaghetti.
Daniel Van Westen, do you consider to do any character animation in the future? Not animation. Character, yes, but not animation. I think that's like character modeling. It's just its own field. And animation takes so much time and I'm really not like really... There's like people who see like these Pixar movies and everything. And they're like super into the animation and it's just like, I don't know, it's... I get more excited by shaders and textures and hard surface stuff. And character animation is just boring. Uh, so it's not boring, don't get me wrong. It's nice <laughs> and good and hard and very important. But it's just like, I'm not like into that. It's, <laughs> it's not boring. I mean, it's just like, it's not... I never thought, wow, that's the animation of that character. So when I see the, for example, Diablo 4, the cinematic Blizzard made, it's, there's so much in there. There's character animation and it's lighting and everything. And what excites me is like the shading and the models of the environment. That's like where I'm like super focused on. And the character animation, I think, well, it's hard and I don't, I don't know. I rather spend time modeling and the character animation is just like something for other people, probably. So I'm not good at this. I will probably never be. <laughs> so no offense, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't meant like that. But I, I know you do character animation, so maybe you can do the character animation for me. <clears throat> because, I mean, there's, it's just like, for example, rigging, right? There's people who rig characters. I will never be able to do that. It's, it's just not my... I wouldn't say field of interest. It's just like something I never really was into <laughs> what's the big splines uh that's right like, like a tube or hose something with uh, tons of sss because you guys probably know that i'm really into sss you know sss subsurface scattering That's, I really like subsurface scattering. It's my favorite thing in CG. Everything is better when you put subsurface scattering on it. Technically, everything is subsurface scattering. Like not everything, but many, many materials that you wouldn't think of. I actually like SSS materials. to a certain degree, like obviously not all, but some. Can we do it like that? All the electric materials, like wood, for example, is SSS, plastic is SSS, skin obviously is, rubber. Uh, what's the goal about today's work? Uh, it's filling that gap, this gap, and this gap. 
also Daniel van Westen. Uh, yeah, we, we can talk like once there's like something uh, where I think, hey, let's do animation. <laughs> so I have like someone, a friend of mine, Chan, Chan Erdogan, he's a rigger. So he's going to rig for me someday. And then I need an animator who animates that. <laughs> So everything that's not pure metal is SSS. So technically you would only use SSS for everything with different densities, of course. Even that muck is SSS. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what, why, what, how? Um, that's a big no-no. Chan is also a good animator, by the way. Oh, yeah. Ah, I forgot. He's not only doing the rigging, right? He's doing everything. All the cool stuff. Yeah. He's gonna, at some point, hopefully, when I have the right plan to like maybe an animation for the Miss, Mr. Bob, the, the robot. We talked about it. So the problem with Bob is that he's built in a way that's really stupid to rig. So we need to replace the arms and the legs. And so that doesn't make sense right now in terms of like storytelling and stuff. So we will do that eventually like some other occasion that he gets a new body. Mr. Bob needs a new body. Okay, that's too bent. That here we don't want. And we just do that. Okay, what's what's going on now? Uh, okay. Let's just do that. Oh, actually, that's cool when it's like that. But here, there's too little here. Hmm. What's your favorite artwork? Of mine or in general? Uh, what's in the big shelf? In the big shelf, there will be um, something I did this here. So I, I'm going gonna try that. And it's where is it? Here, that one. Wait. Um wait, we have this one, right? That monitor. I want to put in there with the wrap and everything. And then we have this one. And I want to put that in into that as well. Uh, what's your favorite artwork both? Uh, so my question was my, of mine, my, my artwork. Well, right now it's this one I'm working on. And um, 2003 is probably my favorite. Uh, I can show you. No, wait. This one. This one was really hard to do. <laughs> yes. But a ton of fun. F 
for how long have you been working in the 3D industry? So I started, uh, I think, 18 years now. Yeah, roughly 18 years. Like no, in the industry, okay, no, that's just starting as 3D arts. In the industry, technically since 2012, so 10 years. But like the first time I did 3D was in 2003, four. So it's 18 years in, in total. Okay, that's also cool. Nice. Uh, may I ask, how did you get into it? So I start a friend of mine. His name is Jan. Um, he I don't know, found some 3D stuff on the internet and wanted to do it and he pirated a version of C4D, C4D seven, no, 6.8 or something like that. I don't know, some very old version. 8.5, I think it was, the first version I got. And he pirated it on a CD and so he gave that to a friend and that friend gave it to me and it went all to, through our circle, circle of friends and everyone got that CD. And so all of like f four or five people had this CD and they installed C4D and we had like a contest among each other who could build the best skyscraper. And that was like something we did in school, like not in school, but after school. And we just sent these pictures around and everything. And that's how I got into 3D. And then I watched tutorials um, when YouTube came out. Oh no, actually there was no tutorials. I don't know. I just pressed buttons really and, and read the manual and everything. And there was like, no, now I remember there was like tutorials for stuff. There was text and a picture and then text again and another picture. So step by step. So, um, yeah, and then in the beginning I built stuff like that. I can show you that actually. Uh, very old shit. So I think this one, for example, this is from 2006 or five. That's, that's the start. And then I did that. <laughs> I know it's just like, there's like glass bolts in there and mirrors because I was like fascinated with that they actually work and stuff so yeah and a really high ceiling with lots of artifacts from the then I don't know that wasn't even physical render that was um, advanced render 2 or something yeah that's all native C4D Um, also this one. And it's just like, uh, very low res and playing around with stuff. Also this one, very old. You can see I used that concept again, like recently. <laughs> And from there on, I don't know, it just took ages. So many people starting now think, hey, I have to go get good quite fast and I have to work all the time. It's just not going to work, guys. It's take taking ages. So everyone I started with, like everyone who did 3D at the same time I did back then, didn't don't doesn't do it anymore like 
I mean, Raphael does, but outside of that, like from the guys I started with, nobody's. And there's like people who's who are who are three years in the industry and think they. That's just like the. You you don't have to think in like three years. You have to think in decades. So it takes in with everything even also if you're a painter and everything it takes ages to be good at something like sometimes it's just luck and i don't know watching the right content and having the right taste and everything i have been in the industry for almost two years now and i'm getting impatient well add add a zero to that or like like a decade 12 years just don't do it because just do it for fun i spent probably two years just rendering glass spheres because it, i thought it looked cool <laughs> and it's like there's no way that you will be good at this when it's no fun to you so if it's just exhausting to you it's probably not gonna work out. I'm sorry to tell you that. Okay, do we do that now? I mean, some everything is exhausting sometimes, but still, just do it for the fun, not for the money or anything. I don't know, will that look good? Is that the right angle though? So we have it like that. Then we see the pipes. So like that. And then with SSS and everything. Also, is that too high? The whole pile? I mean, don't like it's also it's faster today. So you have all the resources, right? When I started, there was there wasn't even YouTube. YouTube started in 2005 and be, there wasn't there you had a 15 minute upload limit I think and there was no tutorial and like YouTube wasn't like there wasn't YouTubers there was no industry veteran that put all his tutorial stuff for free or no 14 year old kid from Great Britain with a heavy British accent <laughs> explaining how you sculpt something in zbrush or anything so it was just like not there and today you have an immensely big resource pool so it's very more likely that you will succeed today so just up just watch tutorials have fun build stuff and it's gonna work out it's just take taking time that's it there's so many great artists. There's probably like a 15 year old version of me that's better than me already. So take everything I tell you with a grain of salt. Fourteen years in here and I didn't even get into hard surface work until three years ago. You just don't always need it. And sometimes you don't know you need it only used octane for a year spent five years you just learning and having fun and building things i like building in my mind i'm very good but compared to the best i'm not halfway since i was first started four years ago at that i will give up because so difficult but not now all right so we have to find out if this is too, the pile is too tall. Let's do that now. I know for a fact for, for from Raphael, I think he started even earlier than me. And he just for years, for the first three years, he just went through all the menus and pressed all the buttons trying to find out what they do because back then we had there wasn't like not the that the that online help system that wasn't even there and you had like a printout manual i think 
So that's computers, I think, because here you can see it's not that high. Oh, now we have this, right? That tab thing. So we can just copy that. There was no internet, just a manual booklet, yeah. So let's say it can't go higher than the edge. <coughs> or maybe a little bit higher. Okay, it can be a little bit higher. Like that. That's it. So it already is too high. It piles up. Okay, so that means we have to shorten it a little bit. And you adding to that, <laughs> remember there is even, so I'm only 33. There's visual effects people like that are 50, 60 now. So when I was, when I started, there w was already people in the industry for 20 years doing like effects for ter Terminator and Jurassic Park and stuff. So that doesn't mean anything. And it can also be super different for each artist. There's also the possibility that I was just really slow. <laughs> Okay, I think that's okay. Maybe you want to show Show that in that direction. All right. I mean, I'm still very slow. You can see how I work. But that's the hyperrealism workflow, right? I just want to have every reflection, every nook and cranny right. It's important. Okay, now it's too long. You asked, you, you were a slow learner. So <laughs> my school teacher in grade school thought I was retarded. And uh, she went to child services and denounced my mom. Because <laughs> she thought so I was a retarded kid and that my mom abuses me. She said that. 
my school teacher. So we had to go through a, like, what is the right word for that? Wait. We had to like do a, do an assessment in a university clinic with like a team of psychiatrists that did IQ tests with me and everything <laughs> when I was like eight or something. And we had like the school guy with that did like tests to test if I have ADHD and stuff. And in the end, it was just like, yeah, yours, the child is not retarded. He's just like really bad at math. <laughs> just... <laughs> no, it was just like because the school teacher had like her son was mentally challenged. Retarded, you don't say retarded, right? Sorry. Uh, it was like he was mentally challenged and he was retarded. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just the language thing. I don't know what the correct term, term is, but, um, and she saw like b behavior patterns in me that were like that of her mentally challenged child. And she was like, well, it's probably because the mom, my mom was like a single mom. So no dad. And she was like really young. Uh, she was like 21 when I was born. So, and she was obviously not ready for a kid and then my mom like she the, the teacher thought hey she's probably abusing that kid also like i had like some bruises sometimes i don't know but i wasn't like really abused by my mom like maybe <laughs> no but uh not like in in a way that she beat me up or anything so and yeah, then we had to do uh, two years of therapy. <laughs> I had to go to like that clinic and do like an assessment. So they they did like I was part of a study. <laughs> so yeah, there was like a study for kids with ADHD and it was like in, in one of the groups there and and yeah that was but it was okay i got a uh, free lego from that clinic <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah but generally like math in school i was it's weird that i do 3d now because i i can't do math at all like I mean, I can do a little bit, but it's just like, like from grade six to grade 10, there's like big white gap. <laughs> it's just like nothing there. Like all the cool stuff you learn in that time. I don't know anything about that. So I can't, I can help a grade school kid with math homework probably, but that's it. Ooh, that's looking quite nice. And then, oh, sorry, let, let's let's just make that episode about ch childhood childhood stuff. <laughs> so when I was like in fifth grade, and it was around the time where when we had like in Germany we had like a phase in the early two thousands where they were like school shootings. It was like really on vogue to do a school shooting. <laughs> so we had like, we have like these city names that are synonyms for school shootings, like Erfurt. Erfurt is just like town and I don't know, where is that? Where is Erfurt? <laughs> just like a German city. And where, where's Erfurt? In which, in which Bundesland? Thüringen. Yeah, and uh, and I was like drawing guns and exploding planes and like I don't know dead people in my school books. <laughs> just <laughs> like I don't know, I was just doodling around in math class, like 
hey, let's draw a machine gun. <laughs> and my teacher was like, like, oh boy. <laughs> and he told that guy who gave me the pirated C4D thing, I found that out years later. He said to him, hey, at the end of the class, can, can you steal can you steal his, his school book and give it to me? I just want to have a look. And he did that for like half a year. I was always, hey, where's my school book? And it magically vanished and came back. It was like, oh, well, I just didn't found it. I didn't think anything of that. <laughs> they had like a conference where they showed my book around. <laughs> like, well, this kid is a danger <laughs> to society. <laughs> yeah, but it was just like <laughs> curiosity. <laughs> I also did so much shit in school. Like we had like this art class and they they built like like giant bees of paper and I just hung them from the ceiling and were like bees made out of paper hanging from the ceiling and I was just running around like a maniac with like a hockey thing like field hockey stick I don't know what you call it and I'm just beating them down <laughs> oh, fun times school yeah yeah, be pin piñata, exactly. Some something like that. Okay, is that still too high though? This one. I think it is. So we need to maybe no, that's that one. That one is for this one, yes. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that one is still too high. So maybe that. That looks good. It looks a little bit more boring now. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> okay, cash. Oh, but there was like many, many stories like that where teachers were like really concerned about the about the safety of my my friends and me. <laughs> I did so much dumb shit back then. It's a miracle that that I'm now sitting here. Like, or having... At some point in my life, there was like a turning point where I thought, hey, maybe just like get serious about something. Imagine not me not being a 3D artist now. I would be just like an hard-to-employ school dropout. <laughs> I was really bad at school and did dumb shit. Like one time, so me and my friends were really big Jackass fans. You you know Jackass, right? Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's still doing that. Oops. Um, So Jackass and we, we wanted to do the same thing, like hurting ourselves on, on video but we didn't have a video camera so we just had like an audio recorder like that small thing that doctors use sometimes when they are like mm, yeah yeah there's the entry wound mm. and then they dictate that what they want to write down so we had like some small device like that with like a small cassette and that's it. And we did jackass, but only only the audio. <laughs> so then I was I had this really expensive bike, and I drove it in into the door of a big barn, like six seven times. Just drove in there, and was totally destroyed. And I hurt myself, and we had it all on on tape. It was just so stupid. <laughs> 
Why did I do such things? All right, so this is done. We did this stuff with shopping carts. Yeah, we did shopping carts. This was also a phase. Oh, not really a phase, but there was a time when I thought, hey, shopping carts. Nice. Uh, I didn't account for the plugs here, but oopsie. We'll find out if it still works. Um, okay, let me think. So in theory, we just have to do this, right? Then I copy that one. No, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Okay, copy that to that scene. Oh, uh, no, we don't. We leave it here. And then we go over to R24. Yeah, I mean, but at some point I started doing 3D and digital art stuff. And I was always really good at that. Like, okay, that's not me for me to decide, but still it was okay enough. And for some reason, life took that turn, so uh, I wasn't a complete failure, right? So, assets. Hello. That's the one. Yeah, I also have like friends who don't even have like a school degree or something. They were like really bad in school and they also turned out fine. So, yeah, to, to a degree it matters, I think, but... Just to a degree. I mean, let's try that, right? So we want that though. This thing, we just will copy that. So that's that, that, the connect object, cloner, and the spline wrap. The spline wrap is in the null. That's odd, but hey. Uh, so we will know that and call that hose. And that we don't need and no more. We need that. Hello. And then we need to raise this one to 300, even more. Oh boy. I know I was an only child. I had occasionally, I had siblings uh, when my mom married the first time. I had like stepsisters, two, two stepsisters. But not anymore. I once threw a book at one of them. <laughs> it's just. Ah, they probably hate me still. I think, oh, that idiot. 
Uh... Oh, with that tube, so you have... A f um, okay, so let's do that step by step. Let's disable that all, right? And let's disable this and this and this. So you have a spline wrap deformer, right? If you disable that and go to the cloner, uh, go to the cloner. Where's the cloner? The cloner has to be somewhere. It's here. So the cloner is just the cloner. It goes into one direction really high and you can print technically you can basically put that cloner into the spline wrap deformer and so deformers work in a way that you just make them the child of a like an object and then they act to the parent object but in some cases that doesn't work you can also just put them in a null object and make it the bottom one so it, the spline object, as long as it's in the bottom of the hierarchy, not even hierarchy, in the same null, it will project its power to the overlaying <laughs> object. In this case, the subsurface thing. And there's a connect object in there, and then there's a cloner in there, and then that's the cylinder. So the cylinder is just like the base object that we want to repeat. Then we repeat that with the cloner. Then we connect that that means we weld the points here that's the connect object so it gets one object then we do the subdivision surface right so we have a subdivision surface that will be wrapped around a spline so these spline wrap deformer that needs just a spline input that's the one we just simulated and then we need a closed surface that acts on top of all of that because we want a thickness. So that's the closed surface. And then that's it. And then we have intersections here. Oopsie. Exactly. So and then uh, they need a material. But that wait where's the computers computers yay and that hose will just get the material the same one we had in in the window part which is this one And it should look okay. But now um, we might need to fix that because can we do that like an X-ray version of that? Yes, we can. So we need like to address these things here. I think they they might show up otherwise. So let's just select these. Raphael just said yesterday that we need like a soft selection for splines. That would be very cool. Okay, let's just leave it like that. I want to actually see how it looks. Da -da -da. Shall we try to render that? Mm, yes.
Oh, also, when I did my one fun thing regarding... Oh, God, no, that sounds so wrong. So, one thing regarding school shootings. Um, so, I was in a school when I did my apprenticeship. You know, that was like a school apprenticeship for three years. I was there learning Photoshop and InDesign and stuff like that. There was like... It was in the time where it was on vogue in Germany to do school shootings. <laughs> and there, um, the, 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 the head teacher of the whole school was like, no more video games in the school, no violent video games. So we used to play Counter-Strike in like lunch breaks on, on these PCs. And he, was, he banned that, you know, saying that it was bad for the youth and the health and everything. It's, did you go? You, did you do the Gestaltung Station stand? Yes, I, I, I did. <laughs> yes, uh, I am a GTA. Um, so uh, he he banned that, and um, now, like, I was at Gamescom a few weeks back, meeting with a friend who is teacher at this very school. And now they have their own esports team playing Counter Strike. <laughs> did you, uh, did that too in Rheinbach? Oh, I always wanted to go to Rheinbach, but uh, it was too far away. I did the one in uh, like one in Cologne. But Rheinbach, I know some people who went to the one in Rheinbach. It was like the place to be back then. Rheinbach was the GTA Elite School. At the Glasfachschule, I don't know, is it the name Glasfachschule? I mean, it obviously is, you, you said it so, <laughs> but yeah, back then there was like not, not, not much stuff like that, it felt like, and uh, yeah, but I, I went to, it was called BM in Cologne, it was uh, Berufsschule für Medienberuf or something like that. Oh, that's looking odd. The hose, I mean. Yeah, BM Cologne, but it's just such a whack school. <laughs> All right. So what's right, right now, what I don't like is that this I mean, it's realistic. There's like this cable. It's a stiff cable that's just poking out there. But I might just remove that one. Also, the material I don't like. So it works for the hose at the um, at the window. Uh, but here, I will just do another material. Also, I might just make the radius a little smaller so we have the cylinder right and it's eight let's do seven just because we can so and then we do hose ho ho hose So it's 1,000 albedos white. Okay, let's do 10. Very slow today. <laughs> What's up, party people? I come to you from meeting hell. I hate meetings too, Abu. My favorite, Schwaraba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what I... You are also GTA. So many GTAs here. <laughs> what? 
Nice. Okay. Everyone that's that did the GTA type in uh, F in the chat. <laughs> okay, I have to put the F in the chat for for being a GTA. So three GTAs already. Four. <laughs> Nice. Oh, okay. I don't believe you. Nurenjo. <laughs> we don't mean GTA the game, by the way. So G we in Germany there's like a you can do an apprenticeship that's in a school that goes three years and then you are a learned professional pr pretty much. And you were able to do Photoshop <laughs> and, and Flash. I learned Flash, guys. And how to make websites. It's, it's, yeah, it's a Mediengestalter for poor people. <laughs> or, yeah, I mean, you don't, you pay for it and you don't get any money. And if you do Mediengestalter, which is just the proper thing where you work like really hands on. Um, you 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 get get paid for it and have like a real job. Oh yeah, Dreamweaver. I actually did the VHS course for Dreamweaver when I was twelve, <laughs> and then I did my an, a website that for Medal of Honor Elliot Assault. Action script is the way. Yes, I learned action script in school. It's just so... I don't remember anything. Also, I learned like HTML and XML and CSS and all that jazz, but it was pre-Web 2.0. <laughs> so it was just... If you want to do a website, you need a table. And so you did everything with tables back then. <laughs> I think that's not like you don't do that anymore, or do you? So I, I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not like a web designer or anything. I know, like Schnubor, for example, he's a real developer, but I don't know what's the jazz today. If you still do it <laughs> with, with uh, tables, it, or I don't know. <laughs> my school was actually special I did to get the parallel to my abi tour and didn't have to pay for it yeah I did the uh, fach abi with uh, my GTA and also did three months of internship at a company called Design Squad <laughs> in Düsseldorf Web design is the most ungrateful job ever. Every client thinks he's a genius and every comments like make the logo big. <laughs> yeah. I have actually many friends who do that stuff. Like they are just front end devs or back end devs now. And you had your internship at Render Baron, really? <laughs> nice. Okay, so one thing is looking odd, by the way, guys. This one. The inside it's just so shiny and weird also this one and then there's like that thing because the band is too big so we will go there so this is yeah there's like intersections here that that's a no 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 so we do x-ray once again and hopefully we can just, I don't know. So it's too, too narrow, the bend. And we just delete these points. And then move this one. Oh, boy, it's slow AF. Oh, 
Wait, can we still do that like a beast spline? And then put uniformity to zero. And then delete two more points. <laughs> Everyone there, here's a web designer. Well, technically on paper, uh, but I didn't touch touch that topic in in years. So not really. Oh, now now we're golden. Now it's also thinner. So the question is though, does it work? Also, wait, can we display normals, polynormals? No, not like that, right? I wonder if that's like, if the normals on the inside are flipped or some something. Uh, let's not do that. Yours actually full Abitur, but we had graphic design as second LK and art as third fach. I call it Bauern Abi. <laughs> <laughs> Bauern Abi. I was in a shitty web design agency in Bonn. Oh. Bonn is the place if the wall didn't fell. All, all the hipsters would hang out now. <laughs> I mean, imagine that. All the hip people hanging out in Bonn. Okay, you can actually see through that. Huh? Why? It's probably because of that cursed cloth surface thing. Wait, is there an option for not? Okay, there's thickness, limit. So wait, let's just do it the normal way without the cloth surface. Like that, and then just put the thickness in. Like we have that, right? Can't we just extrude that without caps? Oh no, okay, never mind. Can we just copy that and scale it. Wait, no. Why is it so crooked though? Because of that. Okay. Can we... Wait, what's that? That's what I meant. Oh no, actually can't do that. Let me think. You just want it because then we don't have the end caps closed. But does that actually matter? Let's try it like that. So we just combine these and then reverse the normals. So it should behave like as this and we can just block off that part <laughs> with something. So we do it like that. Then we have the spline wrap. Actually does the connect work? Or is that like a because it looks like it doesn't work. Or does it? Home mode. 
average. Uh, no, it does work. Maybe you can try the new transmission model. Which do you mean? New transmission model? I think it has a thin f surface SSS. I think you could also do the full Abi in Rheinbach, but it took one year extra. So four years. Were you also able to choose your focus? No, we had everything. Oh, that was not directed at me. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, but we had everything in the in the school so um okay now let's go back to that bad boy okay now we have that gap here but that's fine we can just um like if we activate that can just use the cap. Is that the right one? Yes. Let's use that. Split that. Honky donkey. That's very slow right now. Why is it so slow? It's the rendering in the background. Very slow. But yeah, something like that. Wait, is that the... Are the normals correct for that? Yes. So we have this. And this. Let's try that. Let's try that. Ooh, okay. Uh. I will grab something to drink real quick and then I'll be back. Just a second. Today we are drinking San Pellegrino, Clementine and Peach. Once again. Video to brain tutorials in Photoshop class. Oh, I remember video to brain. Is that still a thing? 
Video to brain. No, it's gone. Well, LinkedIn, it's now LinkedIn. Hmm. Also, Stadia is gonna go. Google Stadia. It's gone forever. In January next year, it will be gone. I never tried it actually, <laughs> but uh, I've, I've read that. Yes, F in the chat for Stadia. <laughs> Did anyone ever try Stadia? I only know people who did tests for that, like John journalists tried it for some time. But I know don't know anyone who really used it. So is there so that whole like that whole thing that you game gaming in the cloud, did they close that because nobody was using it or is that like uh, the the competition that is stronger? Is there still like a competition that that is doing the same thing? Look at that. Now it looks completely different. Internet in Germany is way too shitty for that. Truth. Internet in Germany. Oh, questions. How fast is your internet connection, guys? Questions. <laughs> but uh, seriously, I'm curious. Fifty Mbit on a good day. What what about the others? One gigabit. What? I have one hundred Mbit. I thought about like one gigabit, but the wife said, Hey, do we actually need it? And I was like, well, not really. <laughs> 300 Mbit. One gig down, 15 Mbit up. 50, all right. I would, I think I could get one gig here. Like we have cable internet. It would actually be nice. That's, it's, I don't know if it's that useful. <laughs> Okay, but I like the look of that, by the way, guys. So we're on the right path. Uh, one centimeter, maybe like a little more dense. Let's do 175. 500 up and down. Well, we have a winner here. That's like the thing in Germany is a asynchronous, like, internet connections you have like a lot down but less up because i think they want to make money for like businesses uh, when, where they market that i think technically there's no like limitation to that because other countries have it as well it's like the same thing with like phone subscriptions mobile subscriptions where you have like um you have like like uh you are limited in terms of how much you can download and that i think germany is still the like the only country where that is a thing that there's like no flat rate for that fucked up okay so this is looking good guys very promising I think Germany has many problems because this one politician decided to ditch fiber and stay with copper cables back in the days. Yeah, stupid. 
Stupid. Me no likey. I want fast internet. Before I had 100 Mbits, I had 6 Mbit. I was living in the in the dark ages when it comes to internet speed. Because like even in Cologne, there's like this one street where you can can get more than six ambits. It's just really <laughs> dumb. Okay, that that's looking fine. It looks like guts. That's really cool. We do the same thing with the the the, the toothbrush now. And then we do that thing. Coffee Grain says 8 Mbit. How is it even possible to watch that, that stream then? For real though, r r like honest question. That's not against like Geneva Convention to have <laughs> 8 Mbit. One hundred eighty p. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, but this black thing, it has to go. Um. Yes. So we reset that. The black thing is a thing of the past. One hundred sixty. Oh boy. the wrong one. Also the music is so quiet. I'll turn that a little bit louder. So I think that's this one, right? Would it be possible to just move that back a little bit? So we have these cables, right? The, which one is it though? This one. Because technically, can just do that. Tada! Okay, maybe not that far. Also, I just deleted bunch of other cables I think. Maybe like that. Yeah. Let's do it like that. Okay. Oh, we actually never checked how the toothbrush looks now, but I think it will be fine. The thought, imagine you buy a game like Call of Duty or something, and you have to wait a few days for it to download. That's bad. <laughs> I feel for you, farm folks. And I'm very happy that you now have 300 ambits. So, we need a proxy. Keep proxy rotation. Warzone with 150 gigabyte content. Oh shit, yes. Is Warzone any good, by the way? I know a few people who play that. Was never like, I, I was a Call of Duty player when there was Call of Duty 1942. And I think I played Modern Warfare 3. 
and it was like super hype but i didn't like i was like yeah well it's just a generic shooter i don't get it it's like epics but less good okay epics is that fast one i can't play because it's too fast right <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so old when I say stuff like that. So, wait, no. We do it like that again. Okay, maybe, wait. Haha! -ha! Fast again. Like a little bit. I think, I think we should try give Epics a try someday. Uh, I think once you get past all the complicated parts, it's a great game. Would love to introduce you to it someday. Lucas tried. I'm slow. I'm like really, I'm more like a RPG guy. Like give me a game with 200 hours play time. Where you can have you have a skill tree and fight monsters in caves. I'm in like The Witcher, Cyberpunk, Skyrim, Skyrim. <laughs> Let's play Skyrim. Or as as Gronk says, Skyrim. <laughs> I'm replaying Kingdom Come Deliverance at the moment. Such a gem. Oh, I never played that. Shall I play that? Is that great? Shall I play it on stream? Let's do Kingdom Come Deliverance stream. Also, there's like Kentucky Route 66 or something, something like that. Uh, I will have to play. My wife gifted that to me. And she said I sh shall play it because it's amazing. Disco Elysium, yes, best game ever. One of our, I don't know if he's here, but one of uh, the environment artists of that was in that stream a few days, a few weeks ago in, in here. His name is Mick and he's a very talented artist. Diablo 4, yeah, I will play Diablo 4 as well. Oh, I'm such a sucker for games like that. It's a nice game, very wonky, but uh, it's a very authentic Middle Age experience with many lovely gimmicks and a lot of immersion. Nice. Okay, we have the toothbrush. We will use that as a collider, and then we just use that volume. Right, so let's just copy that to a new scene. Wait, how high is that? Optimize. Kingdom Come Deliverance on stream. You'd be very good. Um, I actually don't know how, how that game stream thing works. So is it like performance wise comparable to do that? What I'm doing right now? Or is it bad or good? or 
you know. Dart, no bristles. Do I need like a stream? I have a second PC, maybe I can cram the capture card in there. <laughs> the thing is, then I have to transfer all the video and audio to that. What a hassle. So, maybe. So, I, I will actually do like a game stream at some point but i have to find a game that's like really short for that before i do something big so i think maybe we do a playthrough of inside or limbo or something like that because i can't finish that in four hours or five hours and that that just works better okay so this we have just just convert that. So these two we can just convert. I guess. Okay. Where is the toothbrush? Brush, 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 sim. Yes. No. Yes. Elden Ring. Yeah, I've, I finished that already, but um, I will stream the DLC when it comes out. I think with Yorick, you don't need to worry about that too much. Okay. Actually, my for gaming, my PC isn't that great. I mean, I have a very fast graphics card, but I think I have like the RAM is bottlenecked because I have 128 gigs of RAM and you can't use XMP for that because XMP, like the voltage you would need to get like the very fast speeds. I stole your pants. Oh boy. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> can can I keep them? I have the pants of my... <laughs> no, but, but, but I have to pee anyway. So be right back, guys.
Hello. I have new pants. Okay, so about the RAM. I have lots of RAM and you can't use XMP for that. So it's very like low RAM speeds, it's stock RAM speeds. That's not a problem for Octane, but for games, like my wife has a PC with 32 gigs of RAM and it's really fast RAM. And the, the games run way better with that. You can see like a difference of 10, 15 FPS with that. So I have enough channel points to highlight 72 messages, but I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> Some games also don't like Threat Rippers. Yeah, that's true. No, but um, you mean with the RAM, with XMP? Uh, I don't think that matters actually. Or Silverwing, do you you have 128 gigs of RAM? You, I, I've read that you can't possibly use XMP with that much RAM. Also, if you have many modules, I have eight RAM sticks. So that alone is a no-no for XMP. Or the, the thing you have it with AMD, XMP is Intel. But you know what I mean, D, DCMP or something like that. Maybe it's time to switch to Intel once again. <laughs> Maybe with um, Raptor Lake. I I mean, I actually thought about doing that anyway. So you have you have XMP enabled here, but only profile two, and you have one hundred twenty eight gigs of RAM. How many modules do you have? Also, you have very expensive C, C, CL, 128, but less modules, four modules. So 32 per module. Yeah, um, about the channel points, I will think of something that we can do with that on the weekend and I'll set it up and Ghosty sent me a list of things that make sense. <laughs> you have four modules. All right. Okay, my, my, maybe that's the way to go then. <laughs> DDR4 is affordable right now, right? I'm not planning on buying DDR5. So wait, the spline pen it was. So once again, oh, okay, four modules, CL fourteen probably, <laughs> DDR four. It's crazy that it works and it, that is that it's stable how how fast is your ram ram is it like 3200 megahertz or something when i bought these it's just like not the cheapest it was crucial ballistics but cl18 or something like that so because I knew I couldn't do uh, XMP anyway. Also with that Intel machine over there, it has 64 spread. Uh, so 64 gigs of RAM spread over eight DIMMs and XMP doesn't work there. 
I think the limiting factor is the module thing then. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. My brain is so slow today. Like, I've lost 20 IQ points overnight. <laughs> so, this is okay. Okay. So that's the collider. Yes, it is. Oh. And here we go nuts. Let's do bam. <laughs> And these we can do, I don't know, eight. Oh. All right, like every day I'm going to get something to eat. No, see you later. See you later, Raphael. Have a good one. I have slept four hours. My IQ is nerfed by 50%. <laughs> yes. Yes. I feel that. So save. It works. Slow, but it works. But it's very boring that way. Now, what will that noodle be when it's finished? It's just like one more cable host thing like just what we did in the main scene it's just to fill up that space because i am uncreative <laughs> <laughs> i've just seen the badge for nine months i uh, i need me that can you can see that oh yeah we have we have many badges up to one year i think dark matter is the last one nope You look at now it's super distracting that way hmm now you can just select them all make something like that I guess not. Maybe that was too much. Let's do 20. Like a little bit slippery, maybe. Also, maybe that's that one back here and that one down and 
That's better. I don't even know if I watch a, a stream for a whole year. I mean, I that's my job now. I will stream, but this project won't be a year. So fingers crossed that I have some more content to show you guys. I mean, I can also do small projects. Would you be interested in that if I don't do like big ones? For example, I don't know how, how many of the crypto guys are in here right now. Or is it just 3D artists? But I can also possibly think of just streaming the progress of um, doing like um, like my next nifty drop or something. And then I will just stream that, how I make smaller pieces. We are just here for the pipes. That's that's fine. I'm actually also just here for the pipes. Okay. Nope. Okay, that's just too much. So Let's do that. I would I would watch you even mukbang. Oh I I hate that. Even though I'm a pig, right? I'm a fat pig. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm a chonker, but mukbang or ASMR. I hate that shit. Like I watched some girl who had like, like microphone shaped like a ear and she was just like, like into that. It was just ugh. sounded like someone would, would put his tongue in, in my ear. It was incredibly Ugh. Why? I don't know who's into that kind of stuff, but it's just like grossing me out. I also don't know how you can be into feet, so I don't know. <laughs> it's just like there's something for everyone, I guess. guess that's not good. Try to turn it here, just left the chat. You heard it here, boys. Connie's doesn't like feet. I mean, I have nothing against feet. It's just like, like that fetish, you know? I, I don't get it. It's feet. Like, but that doesn't mean so that's not valid, right? So I, I, I am not king shaming anyone here. If you're into that kind of stuff. <clears throat> what I don't like is when people walk outside barefoot, like like in the street and in the train. <laughs> that I think is like, ew. Also, like, oh no, it's just like that stream is going in the wrong direction. <laughs> I, mean, 
I don't know if I should talk about stuff like that. Do I want to be that streamer that talks about feet and bare, barefoot, like bare, bare feet hippies all day? I don't know if that will look good though. Like a pipe hanging here. Maybe just like here in the background. So nothing that ob obstructs that in the front. So nothing that goes like that. So we need to put that back here. So just delete that one. I would hate Steve Jobs. I mean, I guess there's like certain cases where it's fine to walk outside barefoot. What I'm talking about is open minded hippie people with dreadlocks <laughs> that are barefoot in the, in the in the tram and have like black feet. Not a fan of that. I'm very judgmental about that. I'm always like, nope. Oh, and we have 800 followers. Guys. Guys. 800 people. That's the size of a small village. So I'm in the voice of a small village now. Epic. Oops. Okay, that was intersecting. Here it is intersecting too, though. So this is super sl Wait, what if we do it like that again? <laughs> Okay, I guess we don't do it like that again. Uh, so wait, my friend said he came in here a few days back and you was discussing taxes with crypto. How does that work with Twitch subs? There's a lot of subs in here. Uh, I don't know. No idea. I think that's uh, just, yeah, income tax. So just like Gumroad and YouTube. Right? Income tax. Crypto is also income tax, mainly. So no value added <laughs> tax as far as I know.
which takes 50% and the government takes another 50%. Yep. I mean, so, so far it's, I, I think it's one, $170 or something like that with all the subs. Also, that's the first month. So I, I think like next month, probably not everyone will just resub, right? So I don't think I can make a living from Twitch, which is fine. Okay, that's not looking great. Also, maybe you can just make it smaller. We don't need three. Just make it 2.5. Hello, what PC are you using? I'm using, um, you can see that actually in my about section on that Twitch, there's like a list of the gear I'm using. It's a Threadripper 5900ADX or something like that. And that's a Intel 5960X, 128 gigs of RAM and four 3090 GPUs, roughly, something like that. But there really is no big 3D art streamer, so you could fill that gap. Well, there's Dizzy Wiper. And I think there are some streamers that do 3D. Like yesterday, we saw one. Like game art guys and stuff like that. There's lot, lots of anime titties, though. So maybe we can use everyone who's not into anime titties. And just use that as <laughs> was. Anime titties. That looks disappointing. Sorry, guys, this is just very calming what I'm doing right now. So you have to bear with me. Nope. Nope, nope, oops, actually, maybe. Wait, I can maybe see that. Does it heat too much specifications? Uh, yeah, it's getting hot sometimes. Titties are titties, man. Anime or not. Truth to that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so it can get quite toasty, but that's okay. So, wait. Let's see. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> you missed my hat. I, is my bald hat so ugly? <laughs> Be better? Argonix, is that better? I would never try to model titties. I would just download them titties. Argonix, why, why do you like my hat so much? It's just a random ass hat. Not, not, nothing special. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> or don't you just like bald, like 
do you have something against bald men? <laughs> I, I, the problem is, it's my genes. I, I just lose my hair. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, Max, what is the strangest client request in this industry you've ever got? Uh, strange. Like, I had, like, stuff that I should, like, people asking me to do things that would be, like, a hundred grand. And they asked me to do it for $500, something like that. But that's not strange. That's just, like, you know, everyone has that, I think. Uh, but strange, strange, let me think, I didn't have any really strange requests so far. No, not that I can say, think of. I did a logo for an adult entertainment company for the LGBTQ community. You get what I mean? Well, no, no, I never had like, um, like something from that industry, really. Like stuff like sex workers or anything. I didn't really have that so far. Okie dokie. Let's try this one. Make us a feature length film in three days and our budget is $40. Yeah, it was like something like, uh, yeah, you have three weeks to do a five minute animation in 4K there's really detailed and there's like explosions and cars and like super like and they wanted to give me like three grand for it i was like that's not gonna happen like that's one day of work maybe or something like that it's just like not that was super d delusional to do it like that it was like a Berlin company for, and it was like something super hip with sneakers or something like that. I don't know. And they had just like the idea that would be okay to do it like that. Okay. Now we have that. Okay. What's going on? Something has happened. Wait, let's let's open that again. Okay. Is it because of that? Yes, it's because of that. Oh, oh got cursed multiple times for refusing requests. Yeah. It's like or like some the the standard one I don't get that too much anymore, but the standard one was like, hey, hello, I am Kevin or something. I am 17 years old and me and two friends, we are doing an, an MMO game. And we need concept art from you. We will pay you when when it's successful and we were we are millionaires that kind of stuff so save it you you guys know jason derulo the rapper he dm'd me a few weeks back <laughs> And he wanted my number, my phone number. I was like, no. <laughs> Can you just write me a DM? It takes two minutes. So yeah, that was weird. 
Jason Derulo. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. <laughs> And he never replied. Also, this account wasn't hacked or anything. This was just the real Jason Derulo. Okay, something is weird. Hello? Oh, it's because of that. Yeah, sounded sound uh, read like a scam, but he's he was still the account was active. He was posting stories and everything. It was a real account, so maybe from someone from his team or anything. I'm still waiting that the, um, there's like what's the name, the one who beat up Rihanna, the rapper. He's he and the brother of. One of the Backstreet Boys guys. Uh, Aaron Carter. Chris Brown and Aaron Carter. They're notoriously big art, digital art stealers. They just take they take digital art and just use it. And then they get, get sued. And I'm just waiting that they do that. Because then I will sue the shit out of them. <laughs> that would be nice. Well, it wouldn't be nice, but. So, proxy flat. Uh, wait. That we also don't need anymore. The volume we don't need anymore. Access. Hello, what does WDAP mean? But welcome to the, to the party. Yeah, it looks weird. Hmm. Well, we just accept our fate here and go with it. So we have the computer set up for the hose. And we just copy that to the toothbrush one. Hose. Sorry. So this is a go that goes and it this goes in here. No, that's the wrong one. What's that? Volume proxy flat. Okay, they can no, they stay, right? They stay. Let's do them in here. So this one. Goes into the spline wrap. Yes, sir. And then we just make that smaller and also maybe not use that one anymore. So let's do uh, four. Or more. Yeah, maybe more. <laughs> I think five we have to use actually. Uh, by the way. I'm curious on 50 turrets, where did you get the name from? I had a music alias of the same name inspired by the lone whale who emits the same frequency. Is that where you got the name? Yes, that's the story I got the name from. 
Uh, don't know if you know the German rapper Flair. Yes, I know him, but he had his album cover done by Billy Elias last year and then he ditched it for an ordinary picture of himself sitting in a car. Lord. <laughs> Flair. Oh, like, what's up? Thanks, buddy. Hey. I'm happy that you are here. Also, that icon besides your name. What is that? It looks cool. Is that like a key? Keycap? Keycap. Are you a keyboard builder? Maybe you are. Can you build a keyboard for me? <laughs> Okay, this area here looks whack, to say the least. Can we do something about that? Like, like that one. Can we also do just B-spline? Uniform. Zero. And then... Oh yeah, that's better. Also, we don't need, need it that dense. So I think I go back in here and do just 250. Yes. So we have that. Let's save it and have a look. Maybe too big. Hey Zomax, have you ever considered to make a shot based on your still images, even if it means to get a team involved? I have always wanted to get deeper into 6088 universe, uh, 6088 AD universe. Uh, well, like a real short movie, like with like a story, not just cameras that move and everything. The thing is, so I'm a big uh, believer in paying people for their work and paying them uh, good. And I, I, I don't think I could afford that, like paying a whole team. Right, so it would probably be just me and maybe one more person. And then it's a collab and I don't know, it's just hard to finance that. Like, I mean, Ash does it, right? He, he, I mean, if you're upfront about that and say, hey, it's a portfolio piece, I, we don't have money. We, if you say that from right from the beginning, I don't know, maybe. But still, then you have to manage the team and everything. So I don't know. I thought about that, but uh, maybe not good enough. <laughs> But it would be cool, right? Like an animated short. At some point I will do an animated short. There's this movie, Koyane Skatsi. Uh, Koyane Skatsi. Here, wait. I don't know if you know that. With the music from Philip Glass. And it just shows the current state of the of humanity it's a documentary without any narrative it's just like showing the world as it is like different scenes with music and it's like really mind-blowing and amazing I, I thought i wanted to do something like that in cg at some point that would be nice like with space exploration and like the future of things you know um but yeah 
we have to see. <laughs> And the scene is so organized. Well, uh, kinda. Yeah, but Koyanis Katsi is a really good movie. And then doing something like that. Like it's like like an epic cinematic collection of atmospheres. Something like that. So there's no narrative really. We are waiting for the rendering. Sorry, I'm just like zoning out <laughs> mentally. <laughs> nice, there it is. Can we get a Zomax project like that someday? No narrative, just like Kuanas Katsi. Yeah, I mean, why not? That would be awesome. Does having RTX on make a big difference? Uh, I didn't turn it off so far but yes so it, it makes a difference that's that's what i mean okay let's just do that full screen and have a look here <laughs> i think R rtx can be 10 times faster in certain cases. Yeah, that, that looks all right. Let's just go with that. Then we have that one in the bottom. Good morning, Gernsch. How are you? How was your day so far? So much SSS. I've only been awake for 23 minutes so far, so good. Not sure if I have client work to do today, so just gonna focus on my personal scene. Yes, baby. That's what we want to hear. Also, I really appreciate all the regulars here, like Silvering, Gernt, and everyone else who's here on a regular basis. It's just very kind of you guys. Very supportive.
Okay, so we have these tubes, right? Let's say, let's pretend that we are happy. <laughs> so we have seven gigs left and we can still optimize. So that means we have tons of assets to throw into the scene. Polys are not the issue, textures are. So let's just be careful with the textures and everything else should be fine. Okay, so this one, that one, maybe you can change the color of that even. Hmm. In clear. Hello. I'm doing very good. How are you? So two, two. Okay. I can live with that. Also, guys, um, I want to add a mob. So I want to add a big bucket, then a mob where the stick for the mob goes up here and leans against that part. Then I want um foldable chair that leans against this part and in front of that there's like a warning sign that you can put on the floor that says uh, warning wet surface or something like that so this is gonna happen here in that area then we have this then we have clothing here then we have tons of posters everywhere like that what gets a poster this wall this wall uh, maybe here, maybe on, on that glass. And then there's like a newspaper stand here. There will be small uh, specks of debris or something on, on these surfaces. Then there will be a whole thing here with like shelves. Yeah, so lots to do still. So, but now let's try to put something in here. So let's incrementally save this one. Seattle, Moin, can I ask which texture you use for the concrete wall? Yes, you can. Um, that's this one. It's called, it's from textures.com and it's called Concrete Bunker 4x4. And it's an 4K map in this case. But there's an uh, 8K version of that. Actually, maybe I should use the 8K version of that. Hmm. Maybe later in the end when we can afford it. Thank you for answering all the questions. No problem. Anytime. Okie dokie. Um, so that means we want to open Meats cheered five bits. Oh, thank you, Meats. Sorry if I missed that sometimes. What are bits, by the way? Is that something? Do I get money for that? You still have the cashier in their background to add. Uh, those probably won't be too cheap on VRM. Yeah, the cashier will be heavy because uh, it's all textured and everything. Hey, zombie, you, you never use Quixel Mixer Rich for textures? Uh, yes, some, uh, some, some, sometimes I do. Um, like these boxes here, they are all from. Uh, Mega scans, bridge, quixel stuff. For textures, not that much actually. I don't know. Some there was something about these textures. They just didn't look that good. I don't know why though. But the these scans, they have like 3D scans object, they're usually really good. Five bits equals five cents. Oh, thank you, Meats. Thank you very much for your five cents. 
Like I always go there, if Bridge doesn't have it, then I go to textures.com or 3dtextures.me. Okay. Do you have like a subscription? I don't know how it is, like, I know these assets are all free for Unreal, but if I use them here, do I have to pay for them actually? Or no, does nobody care really? <laughs> is there like, do I get sued if I do that? Okay, so we need to go into the pack ash drop. Is there like a final scene? Clear glass? No, that's just the rendering. So we... Solid glass. Okay, that's that one. Um, let's do the solid first. I think it's still a, a, a bit wild, wild west with those. I don't know. So I have, I have no idea how, how that works in that case. Ooh, look at that. So that's the plastic. That's don't do that. Let's get rid of all of those. So we have plastic. The whole label we don't need. Let's not use that. And the cable we also don't need. Oh, such a complex model. Tube. That's the inside stuff, right? That we also don't need, really. Okay, that whole thing we don't really need. We need that. We need the hole. That maybe, I don't know. Dust we also don't need. That we need. And that we need. So. All right. Let's go. If, if they fit at all, I don't know. Uh, 3D textures.me. I don't even know that one. 3D textures.me. Mm, nice. I didn't know they exist. Cool. Start. Is there wood? I all, I'm a sucker for a good wood texture. Oh, they have a lot. I didn't so far like there's some some textures I use for everything, but wood there's not a perfect texture so far. Okay, wait, what is that? Oh, that's the color sponge one. Okay, so we have the big, oh, that's a really big one though. It's a little bit too big actually. <laughs> um, also, is it animated? I hope it's not. Uh, do we have like, Please not, okay, it's not animated. Oh, it's very big. Why is it so big? If you're using the free mega scans, you're supposed to only use them with Unreal. You can make a paid account and add one month of subscription, which is only 19 bucks. That would get you 90 points, which would be enough points for like 20 something objects. Uh, okay, so to be on the safe side, I ju could just do the subscription at the end of the project and call it a day if I decide to just use that. Guys, that's too big. But 
we can scale it down. I mean, that's a ridiculous big computer. Um, like, I don't know, something like that. Was there ever a copyright case that hit the court that has to do with 3D assets? Yeah, I think with car renders, there were some back in the day. Also like these, um, that there was like some sites where you can buy car models that didn't have the rights for the logos for BMW cars and everything. It was like a dispute, I think. Okay, if we do it like that. Oh boy, that's a big boy. Also, okay. Hmm. So the foil is a problem too. <laughs> but I like the foil. But maybe you have to go without it. Maybe you have to do it like that. Oh, it actually fits. <coughs> I know that Lamborghini has D DMCA copyright. Strike people who have used a Lambo car models in NFTs. Yeah, that's also a thing. I When it comes to NFTs, that's why I also don't want to have like stuff in here that's like a real brand so i design everything myself uh, i mean you can copyright strike the person who owns it uh, or the person who holds it like you can real like dmca is digital millennium copyright act you can just give that to people if you can find out who the person is Uh, you can draw a Lamborghini, but you can't make money with it. So if, for example, I may take a photo of a lot of the logo of Lamborghini, put it on a poster and sell it, I use their brand to make money. And that's, that's, act, that's an actionable thing. So... Like, that's the same thing with, like, if you have, like, a Disney thing and make star, a Star Wars mod for a game or something and make money with it, then Disney lawyers are like, no, no, no. They can't actually afford something like that because they really don't care if there's, like, a small person doing stuff with Star Wars or Lambo or anything. The problem is... If they wave it through and say, yeah, doesn't matter, you're a small creator, just do it. Then at some point there will be a bigger one and he will use that as an argument. They they will say, well, you, you said it's okay with that small one and they can use that as leverage. And that's why these big companies always go after small people and say, no, 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 you can't do that. Because that creates like an thing you can use in front of court and it's bad for the brand if you allow it once but then don't allow it all the time right there's probably a word for that i don't know <laughs> but yes uh in in germany it's called a precedence file Also, what's that? Oh, okay. So, we have a problem, guys. We have a problem. The monitor is too big.
legal precedent is what you're describing. Yeah. Exactly what you say, Grunge. It's exactly that. So, in short, TLDR, Disney doesn't care if you do a fan, fan film or anything. Or Lambo really doesn't care if you use it, but it's just in order to be safe if there is a bigger case. If there's a bigger copyright infringement and they need leverage in court and they just don't want other people to have the upper hand in that. Okay, so... Mm. Robot toys. But what robot toys? What's a robot toy? You mean like a sex toy? <laughs> like like a vibrator? Giggle giggle. <laughs> oil cans yeah but i really want these monitors to work just make them smaller i really like these monitors so i will just try to use them i mean they can be really small right stuff like that they exist So, monitor's shelf. Woo -hoo -hoo. So, this one is the solid one. Um... So let's just do that. Then we can do the, the clear ones in there as well. You might convert this monitor into a small radio frequency measuring instrument. Okay. I mean, the monitor we can argue, so wait, how there's like different sizes for monitors. Uh, so let's get the hole right. Uh, wait. So that's twenty four centimeters in height. Okay, that's one tiny monitor. That's just that big. Okay, might be too small. <gasps> okay, what we do now? It's too small, guys. We can't fit it in here. No, no ash, no ash two monitor in here. We can do the bike or parts of the bike.
So let's say we want like 15 inch, right? So 15 inch monitor. How big is a 15 inch monitor? The diag, like, so we have a plane, right? And if we triangulate that, this has to be 15 inch. Right now that is 100. <clears throat> So 15 inch, no, what, 15 in, oh yeah, 15 in, 15 in, so something like that, so let's say 15 inch is the smallest one we can think of, roughly that, so this is, Z 38 centimeters, just that. I mean, we have, we can probably do it like that, make it like three by four, so 30, just for the screen, roughly, very roughly. So let's close that, 30 for just the screen. We also don't want that anymore. Um. Oh, it shows the size of the bounding box. You are right. Uh, wait, there was a way to show that though. Wasn't that like in structure? That one, right? The L shape on the left. Use the measuring tool. What L shape? That one. Is the name of this piece gonna be Corner Store? Uh, no, it's not. That's just the working title. But I think that's correct. Like. No, wait. Uh, so these are the points. Wait, there is a mode for... Police? Okay, never mind. Can't you just measure the distance between two points? Okay. Then we do the measuring tool. Where was that? Tools, measure, measuring, measure and construct. This one, right? Then you can uh, use that. And one goes here. No. Uh, uh, uh. Can, can't I just use that and snap it to here? Yes, okay, 48. So right, 15 inch monitor is something like size, wait. So that needs to be 38, roughly. Thirty-eight. That whole polygon is twenty-three in the z-axis. That would actually and it would actually work. So we have the screen. And it has to be a little bit bigger, 24. 
so four centimeters bigger than this and then it's then it would be like realistically in in, in ball in the ballpark of a 15 inch monitor like that yeah so that's a 15 inch monitor it's uh yeah, that's 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 a hefty boy. <laughs> or you can use Pythagoras theorem. Well, haven't you? I, you were probably not here when I to told you about my school shenanigans, and I was the worst student and worst. Uh, I ha I have pr pretty much no knowledge of math from from like fifth grade up <laughs> so yeah but that's too big it won't fit here so let's just not do that so we do something else so get rid of that we can though use a broken bike or something like that I have a bike somewhere. Like an old bike. Like a really old one. Like here maybe. I have... Uh, where do I have that? Uh-huh. Oh, that's so old. MySpace was still a thing back then. Um, uh, 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 no, there is no bike. But I have 52 hertz. I have the bike from there. And I have 6088 AD. We can use that bike. It's the same bike. <laughs> For ages. So 2017. Is there one? Otaga. That's just that one. That's the old. What does old mean in that context? Let's just do that. Uh, I usually just make a cube the size I want and use it as a guide. Yeah, I usually do that too. But I didn't really knew what 15 inch diag the diagonal for 15 inch is in centimeters. So I had to find that out somehow. Hello. Weird 3D model. Oh, that's the slowest scene, I remember. So we have to turn off everything. Can we turn that off? Hello. Also, hello. Oh, that's that's one broken bike. Bike one. Wait. Okay.
that that's one bad looking bike though needs hey look at my bike oh there's something missing here there was a cable what is with the cable It's fine though. Oh, it's that one, right? Yes. Isn't there like, where's the, the Lenka? Uh huh. Nice. Everything is here. So, wait, can we actually turn that? Good. That's a whole bike, guys. I mod Do you guys know Benjamin Springer? It's a German Aquis. Aquis. Um, artist. 3D artist. Exorbit art. Like Exorbit art. This one. And he, um, I, I built that for him. At some point. Uh, he had like an <clears throat> online shop called Synected. And uh, it was one of my first freelance gigs. And I built that for that. Okay, so we go to corner store. Maybe it doesn't even fit in there so probably won't fit in there but it, it, that's weird enough right a bike in a corner store <laughs> I hate it's cool too why I am self-taught uh, but Fitaro stuck with me because of the math teacher. He was quite a character. I remember most of his teachings. So, yeah, I was afraid of my math teacher back then. <laughs> because he would just randomly pick someone to go to the board, right? It was always me. I was, and he was, I don't know, he was just like, yo, why, why don't you know that? Making like fun of me in front of the class and stuff. Also, why, hello, scene, 3D scene. Show up, please. Thank you. Okay, it's getting slow now. Oh, bike has a layer. Oh, it has bike stuff. Bike. It's probably not gonna fit. It's too big. Uh, but still, the bike is actually a cool idea. Can can we just put a bike somewhere in the in the scene? Yeah, that's hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Can we also go rid get rid of that? Okay, so both plans I had didn't seem to work out. I mean you can put it apart and have like just the frame and stuff, but still. But 
like having the bike in the scene is actually not a bad idea i would say like we can just like it doesn't even have to be visible because i think like um can put it here so <laughs> or here here we can actually put it here there's a lot of space here um the thing is um i need the scene to be like if i go here and there's nothing there it's just like a big space of nothingness that's not that good because maybe i want to render that from here or something i don't know so it's actually okay to have a bike here so let's just add the bike here so it would just lean against the wall maybe <laughs> And uh, so is that zeroed? Yes, it is. We need to get it down. And then... Pipes, where are the pipes? Can we get rid of the pipes? We obviously still need to shade that and everything. Flat tire? Why? <laughs> I mean, yes, but why? Maybe it's the robot's bike. <laughs> that's too like maybe we need more 10 degrees that doesn't solve the problem that we don't know what mysterious backstory this also it's just leaning like that it's also not smart it's not not smart we need like that maybe we can turn the lenka <laughs> you know like that Hello. Okay, let's just call it a day with that one. Can you even see that? Yes, you can even see it. Nice. Small detail. The front ax axle needs to be tilted a bit. Just referenced my bike against the wall. Which front axle you mean? This one. Like, away from the wall. like that and then that handle goes against the wall like yeah that might make make sense okay um then let's just oh no that's wrong like that maybe Can I just do it like that? Yes, that's way easier. And then... Mm -hmm. 
That's fine. Also like the the pedale. <laughs> Um, can we just so it's not like rigged or anything okay that's the kobel <laughs> we put it in there can we just turn that yes we can no we can't because of that Oh. Right, and then we do this one. Hey, hey, hey. Still need to texture that, but for now that looks fine because then we have something here. It's actually cool. Uh, I need a pee break. I'll be back in a second and if anyone has an idea what we can put into here, what looks super amazing and is deep and nice and fits in there and is probably uh, maybe easy to make too, thumbs up. I don't know. I will think about it. Be right back in a second. Hello. Okay, Gernt. Um, you have other random ideas to put on more shelves. VHS sales. Yeah, we had that. So somebody already told, said that. Music records, CD player, oil cans, instant ramen. So there's still more shelf, shelves to come, like back here. And I think I want to add stuff like VHS tapes, uh, maybe um, a radio and something. I want to add that to that. Instant ramen is maybe, yeah, maybe your instant ramen. But it's still, oh, I, I, I'm just not enjoying making for, like, like the labels in Photoshop anymore. It's so, so, so dreadful. Also, by the way, I have to eat something. So excuse me munching away while I think about that stuff. Gun or bullet case? Like we have, will add a gun probably to the table here from the robot that's coming. Speakers. Speakers. Yeah, maybe. What's that? Vintage grunge, rusty. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, we can build something like that. A drone, a safe, used PC parts, speakers, musical keyboard. Or some projected text or pattern like a tooth is a crown inverted. <laughs> uh. Oil cans and mega scans. Nom nom nom. I have noodle salad with chicken. Mm. 
Hmm. Let's brainstorm together, guys. Maybe I can think of something. There's like, sometimes there's like that one idea where I think, hey, yes. Then it's just like immediately good. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. So. Maybe something from 2003. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's unreleased so far. It's not even on the website. If you want speakers, you can have these. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sold about these speakers. A aquarium, like, that would be actually funny to have like a real aquarium in there, like a fish tank. But I don't know if that's not too wild. We already have the giant toothbrush, remember? <laughs> uh, yes, that's a personal project paper. The globe. Hmm. The globe would be cool, right? Sorry, I hope you can't hear me chew. Chew. Because it wouldn't be Earth, right? Well, yes, it is Earth. But it's a different version of the Earth. So everything is the same, except like small details. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's point that away. No, no, no. Also, we don't have to have the whole, that big gap, right? We can still re-enable. Uh, re-enable that one. So two compartments more. It's also very possible. Thank you, Abu. instruments maybe mm -hmm. oh, i'm so sorry about the ismr eating replacement parts of robots Yeah, that was, there was already someone who said that and it would actually could, could make sense, but I don't know if I want to go down that road. Books and manuals, plants. Books and manuals. Hmm. I don't know, guys. It's difficult for me right now. Sometimes I, there's just like no idea for stuff. 
So I seek inspiration of my uh, from my own work. <laughs> Cooking pots, frying pans, woks. Yeah. That would be something that could work. A 3D printer. Hmm. Let me think. Spray cans. A book that's called Schoolgirls Tormented by Boy Scouts. <laughs> oh, hello. Black and white for some reason. Something from here, maybe? No. <laughs> pipes. Just like spare pipes. <laughs> it's just laying, laying there, the pipe kit. Yum yum soups, yes. Instant ramen. Okay, um, I would say let's just do the bungee rope that goes around the bomb that, that I wanted to do anyway. So we do that and maybe if we can think of something in the meanwhile. Let's just do that then. Uh, so we have bomb, right? Uh, we don't need the room. This idea might be weirdly America. I don't know if you guys have these in Europe, but it would be a cabinet or shelf that the cashier has to come over and unlock because it has high value items that customer would steal. Uh, yeah, we have that with alcohol. Like, not with normal items, but um, like with razor blades, sometimes like e razor equipment. Uh, or even condoms sometimes, but usually not condoms. And then there is uh, like, usually you have that with alcohol, like um, expensive whiskey or something like that. If there's like a 40 euro bottle of whiskey or something, that would be just behind that. So sometimes I think they do that because homeless people just go to the store, open it in the store and drink it in the store. <laughs> so, uh, and depending where that is, uh, they do that sometimes. Like the grocery store I go to, they have really expensive stuff. They have like 80 bottle, 80 euro bottle whiskeys and they do still don't do that. But you either have it locked or there's like a security thing around the opening that they have to unlock also we can do alcohol bottles in general but that would still be oh then i have two bottles again <laughs> maybe i can buy them cb trader let's check cb trader so uh bottles There we go. We have just to rebrand them all. Okay, this one is ugly, but the rest. The question is, are they built in a, oh yeah, they are built right, right? Medicine, actually that would be also a good idea. Toilet paper, yeah. We had that idea. Maybe let's try toilet paper though. I don't know, can 
Can I do like toilet paper? I can do the wrapping around that toilet paper, but can I do, can I build a roll of toilet paper? Like text, like it's just a cylinder, right? But still, I don't know, is that complicated? Folded and unfolded cloth. I like, so I like alcohol, toilet paper I like. Toilet paper is the best one so far. Medicine is also really good. Also, I like the water tank, the fish tank, but it's too big. Toilet paper. Yeah, and the outside, like everything with foil and SSS and stuff and with like solid, like semi-solid stuff inside, it's really cool and it looks cool. And it's also very bright, so that um, would look nice here actually. So uh, let's try toilet paper. Uh, but first I will do the bungee rope still. Uh, so we need just two ropes that are like intertwined here. I think I will do that manually actually, not with like a simulation. And we need, so we need a rope. Um, so let's just do that end side once again. Dude, stop, I'm currently having a project with toothbrush and toilet paper in it, and it's going to make me redo everything. <laughs> no, I can send you the stuff if you want, if that helps. Uh, also, maybe yours is better. Maybe you should send me the stuff. Abu, S send me your 3D files. Come on, do it. Can't possibly. Oh, yes. Okay, so then we just go here. Wait, and then we need that and that and that. That's a big rope. Maybe more like that. It's actually still too big, I think. Or maybe zero point. No. So we have this. Okay, this is okay. We don't need to be that precise. Can we actually go in here maybe we need the cameras to go away for a second I 
Hello. Nice. Uh Okay. And then there's like a hook. Maybe you should build the hook first. <laughs> Wait, how is it? Bungee cord, something. Yeah, that stuff. That I need. Is it just like twisty and then that's super easy to do. So wait, we have 0 0.4 radius. Let's just quickly do a boundary cord. So we need a cylinder, radius 0 0.4. Let's do five centimeters of height. Epic. And then, oh, a helix. Maybe helix. But higher. Nope. Where's the height? There's the height. And then... We actually go more height. Two point one. And then no. Well this is super high res now. Is that because of the subdivision? Yes, it is. Can we do that adaptive? No, let's just do uniform. Okay, so helix is, oh, okay. Um, let me do 50. Okay, that's better. 
Also, what if we do hard interpolation here and then B spline? And then say point order reverse. That's fine. Okie dokie. Hello, nice. No, mm -hmm. like that. Do you like candles, Cornelius? Oh my god, candles. I actually have two burning right now. Candles are nice though. And it's SSS. Candles. Maybe we can put a candle somewhere in the store. I like candles. I never actually modeled a candle. Like with the wax dripping and everything. Candle dripping. Um, is there one that looks realistic? And not Photoshop AF. Wait. Yeah, but a dripping candle. That would be epic. Do you like April 20s? <laughs> uh, yes, maybe. Candles on shelves, that's a fire hazard. No. <laughs> yes, it is, but. No, wait, maybe we can may put it like a candle somewhere in the shop. That's what I mean. Like on the desk there. Okay, that's a hook. All right. An extinguisher. We already have one, actually, down here <laughs> for sale. <laughs> Like a dripping candle, like here on the edge, maybe, right? So that, like, actually there and then, or somewhere here, I don't know, or on, on the cash register. <laughs> that would be nice. I don't know if it makes much sense, but like a candle. Can, you, can we get a dab for the camera? What's the dab? Is that that here? Wait. Is the fire marshal in Delphi very strict about fire hazards? There is none. There no fire marshal in Delphi. He quit years ago. Uh, 
Uh, okay, that was easy enough. We don't need to save that. The bike, we also don't need to save. 6088 AD, we don't need to save. That we don't need at all. Here we go. You will need candles for your medieval projects anyway. Actually, I don't. <laughs> April 20th glass thingy. You mean uh, a bong? You can n n name it. Uh, the medieval projects will be outside, so there won't be candles really. They might have like uh, torches though. So I don't know. Um, let's do a line to spline with that one again. So, because I really like that. Animation tags, align to spline. Uh, no, what? Tag, there it is. Tangential. Cool. And then, wait, it's at zero. What we do at one, one, one percent, one point five, maybe even. And then we just need to. Select that one. Oops. Make that a little bit bigger. Oh boy. I'm a little quiet today because stream in our workflow. You can come join me after Planet Zomax stream. We can rate you. <laughs> you want meats. Let's let's rate meats after I'm done. Can't we ask an AI what to put in the shelf? I mean we will put toilet paper on one of them if if we can make it work. No idea if we will be able to do that. But let's try. Okay, so this is number one. Let's call it A. And then there will be B. So let's do A. And this is B. Same goes for this one. This is A. And then there will be B. Uh, so these can't we just do that? Yes, we can. Oh boy. Also, can't we just move them all together? Like here. And can't we do that maybe and here the same and then so this is b right we do that maybe oh boy and then I feel like a fraud once again. So I, when I'm streaming, I have the constant feeling of being an imposter because people can actually see my dirty tricks and everything. 
but at the same time I think hey it's okay okay so this one we need to do that again and same here oh auto save auto save okay we need to move that down just a tiny bit oh, okay so bomb layer where's the bomb layer uh, bump. that's actually looking quite cool bong would be pretty difficult is it you can build that in fusion Laugh, fool, remash. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bong. I mean, it depends on the bong, but yeah. It's Emat. Hello, sir. How are you today? Um, I'm good. How are you? Okay, so we have the bungee cord. Uh, now let's use TP. Toilet paper, right? Toilet paper. Give me a second. I will grab one piece of toilet paper, like one roll. Be right back. Hello. So, toilet paper. Be right back, but without the be right back screen. Yeah. Uh, okay, toilet paper. It looks complicated. I mean, we can do a pretty. Like a simplified version because we don't see it that much question now is how many are there in a bag toilet paper bag toilet what was looking for something like that and that's just like bags pack maybe package 12 sounds about right like that maybe or like that actually 10 to 12 oh uh, by the way guys are you using wet wipes is that something you do Cornelius, do you ever scan? Yes, I scan sometimes. So here it's 10. Let's do 10. That sound, that looks good to me. So we need to model one of those. Four by four. I will just use 10. I know, I think the, we have these here in Germany. You may not believe me, but my country is in the middle of a revolution right now. People are protesting on the streets. Our internet connection is getting worse and worse by seconds. Crazy shit is going on here, man. Yeah, I've seen that because um, the sh like Sharia police kill killed that girl, right? And people are going on the street. Imad. Be safe, though. Please, Imad, right? I, I, I mean... I'm all for the protests and everything. 
and I think it's a good thing and maybe change will happen but be safe please don't get yourself in trouble or maybe do I don't know but I support uh, support you so um yeah the thing with Iran is that they um there's like Sharia law, right? I, I I don't know much about that stuff, so please forgive me if I'm wrong. And maybe you can elab elaborate on this a little better. Um, but I think that's like because it's an Islam country, and it's like there was a word for that when when the church or the religion is part like it inter intertwined with the government secular something like that and yes i hope you can ch uh, change things for the better so 12 centimeters 10 high uh, so it's radius of six and ten. That's one roll of toilet paper. And Imad, if you feel the need, if you're afraid and need to talk or anything, let me know. You can always hit me up on social media. I mean, I can't probably do anything, but still, the the offer stands. Like this is four, so two. Mm, let me think. If, did any of you ever really model a detailed roll of toilet paper? <laughs> Thank you, Cornelius. Love you, brother. Love you too, Imad. Remember the queue. Always remember the queue. <laughs> okay, so maybe not that. Oh, wait, actually, let's just split this and then do this. I mean, I will, I won't do it with like, I will not use the actual uh paper i will try to just make it look <laughs> like that <laughs> sorry
that's the cleanest and never no no toilet paper roll has ever looked like that it's just perfection <laughs> so the real one is more like that it's just cr crooked af wait can you oops that was the wrong one sorry like that Can you see my eye? Hello. FFD it a bit, yes. Let's do that. So this is the uh, inside, outside. And wait, let's actually save that project. TP, also what's that new folder? Okay, just delete that. And... So we do, where is it? FFD. Nice. Hello. Wow, camera resolution is very good. Thank you. Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. OZ. OZ Hitchhike with with a G instead of a K. <laughs> How is your Friday, Mr. OZ? Or I don't know if you're a Mr. Sorry. Okay, so FFD and then let's just grid array that. It's five by two. Nope. Nope, what's going on? Okay, then let's do that manually. And then let's go with Maybe that's too much FFD. Wait, that's...
there a way to reset it? <laughs> Mr. Correct, not a bad Friday so far watching while I'm at work. Thank you very much. I hope your work is pleasant though. Ghosty said, apparently the Nord pipeline was sabotaged, causing four leaks across Europe, potentially adding to ours and Germany's growing energy crisis. Yes, well, fingers crossed. <laughs> That's my guess. Bill won't be that high. How did you manage to have a different stream qualities? I have only 1080p. Uh, I don't know. I stream in 1080p. Gotta go to another meeting. Thanks for the nice stream. And have a great weekend, y'all. Abu, goodbye. By the way, I'm in Cologne tonight at the Kai Z concert. I will send some positive vibes your way. Oh, nice, Kai Z. Um, yes, please shout Hurensohn for me if they play that song. <laughs> Uh, I love Kite Set. Um. Okay. Back in action. That fixes it. So just a tiny bit today. Like that. Oh boy. Okay, and then that we need use as a collider in in um, marvelous, but first let me think. Also, let me drink. I think. Mm hmm. So let's do a proxy. What's going on now? Oh, wait. Okay, I did the wrong one. Uh, that one I need. These ones I don't. Oh, wait, do we need that? Uh, do you think Blender can replace C4D in the new, near future? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I can... 
I, why would it need, why would, so that would mean that every C4D user would go to Blender. That That's what replacing means. That would mean that Blender does every th single thing that C4D does better than C4D. C4D has the majority. You mean like market share? Like that, that, I mean, C4D has, Maxon has way more money than Blender. Way more. Because Blender is a foundation. And so Blender relies on people writing plugins pretty much and the plugin community and the add-on community and everything and i think there's also more blender users maybe but still i don't think why so the object manager would need to be better there would be need to be something better than MoGraph. the implementation of octane would need to be better um They would need to constantly add stuff every year that's very on, on a large scale, which C4D does, as Maxon does right now. So I don't think that there will be, that Blender can replace C4D. So their cycles is pretty insane, to be honest. Well, but not as insane that the majority of other engines. You have to keep in mind cycles. It's just, there's no company doing cycles. It's just like physical render or, I mean, it's bad. It's a good path trace. So don't get me wrong, but, um, but in, in terms of like Octane, that's the whole company just doing one engine. The same goes for V-Ray or something like that, or Corona. And cycles just like the blender render. So I don't think that like feature wise, I, I don't know, but it's hard to imagine that also that's just like, why is that important? <laughs> like there's like the compare, like, why is it like that they can coexist? Why is it like C4D will replace uh, Blender will replace C4D. Just C4D doesn't exist anymore. It's just replaced by it. Yeah, I don't know. They said that this uh, Raphael. They said the same thing about Redshift. Like nobody will use Octane in two years still people using octane i don't know it's hard to imagine that like that the, i have a problem with the question alone that that there's like one software replacing the other i mean what does that even mean that technically means that one software is going to vanish like softy marsh did <laughs> and then there's like this other software but i don't think that's gonna be the case so i don't think that c4d will vanish c4 like maxon has a lot of money like resources um maybe blender is growing faster because it's more people you are using it but i think in, in terms of resources even if they ha even if blender has a big development fund. I don't think it's that as big as Nimicek. Nimicek is a really big company. And Maxon is just one of their little children. So I think they Maxon pr probably has incredibly amount incredible amounts of, of resources. Like not on a Adobe level or anything, but still. Maxon could buy Blender. No, it couldn't. Blender is a foundation. You can't just buy a foundation. Mm -hmm. 
so I don't know for me. So let's just use the argument. What would it take for Blender to replace C4D for me? Uh, it would need something like MoGraph that works better. I, I don't want any weird kinks. I just want the C4D experience, uh, fast learning curve. I want MoGraph, Object Manager. It all has to work. Perfect Octane integration. Um, yeah, can you maybe Adobe Unreal Engine tool? I don't know what that means. Sorry, <laughs> Ogur. The thing with Maxon and universities, I think, so I doubt that Maxon is stupid. They probably had metrics, had metrics for that. So uh, I imagine it like that, that they have the numbers of how many students in universities use their software. And they decided to just say, well, fuck that because it's not that much anyway. So they weigh the, so they, they have better numbers than we have. They, they obviously didn't just decide that out of spite or anything like, well, let's do it just without any research or anything. That's the major business decision. So I think they had, um, they, they, they had the numbers and decided against the university and student path because it's probably wasn't worth it. And the, the benefit of going with subscription and having that monthly or yearly, that annual money search, it's probably worth more than like aiming, like, like, like investing into new universities and students. So I think, yeah. Neverjack has 6.5 million active users and 9, 9 billion euro or dollars market cap. 9 billion. How, how much does Blender have? Say 70% of maximum users go to Blender and the revenue is so less to hardly maintain a company. That is what I mean by replace. I don't think that's gonna happen though. That's probably no. I don't think that's going to happen. They are too smart for that. And to be honest, Blender just started to, Blender is there for a long time. Right. So when I started with 3D, there already was Blender and Blender was like not an option for all 3D artists. It was just like a joke of a 3D tool. It was that, that, that was like the gimp of the 3D world. And now it, it became very popular and that, that, all, that only happened with that one update. It's free and it all of a sudden was super popular and everyone wanted to use that. What was the version 2.8? I don't know. Yeah, the big leap of Blender came after 2.7.9. And it's just too early for that. That's how, how long ago? Two, three years? Oh wait, we actually have TP already. TP. Yeah, it was two years. Oh, that's the wrong Marvelous Designer version. Almost three. Still, that's not that long. Who knows what will happen? Three years is not, not enough time to 
say that one company will make one another company completely irrelevant. Also, Maxon is not Maxon anymore. Maxon is completely different. So the Maxon, um, like Maxon of four, or three, four, I don't know when, when. When did they change the CEOs? Like the German Maxon from back in the day. That's may I can see that happening. That Blender will make them irrelevant. But Maxon is not that anymore. Maxon is a real company now with all the good and the bad stuff. So they are more aggressive now and they know more. They have all the data data they need, I think. As much if Blender is free though, yeah, but that doesn't matter really. Like in a production, I don't know. Also, Maxon has ZBrush and Redshift. And they will acquire more companies. What's your big goal about after when you work something? Uh, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean after? It's hard to understand yes 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 do you think this new cloth system on cvd could replace marvelous workflow of i don't know i never used it i can't um i don't know on a scale from 1 to 10, how difficult is Marvel's designer to learn and include in workflow? I would say 4. 4 being easier. I don't think it will replace C4D, but it's really good competition and it's always a good thing for the user. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, it's it's probably the same thing that happened with AMD and Threadripper versus Intel. So Maxon can't afford to be lazy right now. And all the other 3D softwares also can't really afford that right now. And that's a good thing. So they won't replace it. And unless they do something terribly wrong, um, Maxon will thrive, in my opinion. But... Um, so I think Maxon is in a very good position. Blender too, but Blender is also like their success is quite young and fragile still. You you know what I mean? So I would uh, think that it's too early for that to say. You always go to Marvelous when you ever have to do a cloth a sim. Yes. I usually do. Flip vertically. No, wait. Flip normals. That's what I want. Where's the flip normal function? There it is. And then we do it again. Can we do top? Yes, we can. Okay, we don't want gravity though, so simulation property, zero gravity. And then we segment through that. Should be quite easy actually. And then we need the avatar. 
set the avatar and then we just smooth that. Ah, oh, okay. Then let's not smooth that. Aaron Westwood, 90. Just like World Creator Gea, all competition is good competition. Yes, indeed. Hey, that almost looks like it could work. Okay, so maybe let's make that more high res. And maybe we can, where's the fabric? Here's the fabric. And because we want plastic, we go with nylon again, right? Nylon mat. And then we go with pressure, maybe? What is what if we do like minus ten? They don't stick out like that, the corners. Well maybe you can like fold them. Where's the pin function? There's that pin thing. Uh, tag, that's the one. Wait, where did I find that tag? You see? <laughs> uh... Oh, where is it? There it is. Sorry, it's just like so tiny. Actually, like, I think we should edit these. Can we edit them? Like, put them here or something. And the same goes here. What's the reference to this place you are making? There is no reference. It's all, it's all from the mind. So it's not, not, not like a real place or anything. Okay, so let's try and do five. Actually, I don't think that the pressure is doing us any favors. Also, uh, that one and then we had the same thing for the scene for the skin offset let's say 0 0.5 okay then we get problems <laughs> uh it's like it's there for a reason Okay, let's 
let's try something crazy like three. If you want a cleaner geo to subdivide, I actually never subdivide. Is that is that recommended in Marvelous? Also, wait, there's like fitting accurate fabric. It looks like it could be a bag of TP. <laughs> Can you say hello to my daughter, Nora? She's watching the stream now. Hallo, Nora. Ich hoffe, dir geht's gut und ähm, du genießt jetzt die Schulferien, die du hast. Und am Montag ist Tag der Deutschen Einheit. Also, yay. <laughs> Was that good, <laughs> shorty? Uh, okay. Nice. I I would say we just try that. So export FBX. I, I think we can technically also remesh it here. Isn't there like a remesh thing? Read topology, create topology. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought there would, would be an auto topology or auto retopo thing. Isn't there? Three D garment. Uh, uh. Why is It doesn't matter really. Let's just export it now. In the property tab of the pattern. Oh yeah, there it is, remesh. Let's go. I think the CPU is doing something. <laughs> Hello CPU. We need to resum, I think, just for a sec. But it didn't do anything. I didn't save the file too, so it might be all for nothing. <laughs> Hit. Also, Aaron Westwood. Thank you so much for your prime sub. I didn't notice that. Why did I miss that? We still have the a problem with the with the notification. No, it's just doing nothing, Cataloo. I think it's still going. I should have saved the whole thing. Oh, now it's done. Is it done? No. Never mind. Oh, okay. It's loading. I think we have to wait. 
I regret er everything. The CG landscape masks themselves. I think it's the one. <laughs> Have a nice weekend. See you. See you too, Shorty. Can't we abort the simulation? It's the Iron Westwood. Do you ever use X particles? One of the most renowned C4D plugins. Uh, no, never. Like, maybe I tried it four times, and always when I tried X particles, I was like not working in my favor, or I didn't get the results I wanted, and then I stopped working. And, oh, it worked. So. Wait, let's see. Um, show topology. Yes, please. Oh no, that's for the avatar, right? Okay. Uh, we need for the fabric. Uh, wireframe on surface. Okay, yeah, I did a remesh. I don't think that it's well okay. Why wow, why not? Uh I don't know, it's slow, it's complicated to use, it's I never got like the results I wanted to. The manual is very big, it's quite 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 a big tool i'm not like really doing much with particles anyway there was never like really the need for it i think we need a safe emote to spam at you i can pixel floppy disk yeah i i think i can contract that uh, i guess you selected only one pattern to remesh it yeah that was uh, by choice but uh, now let's save that file and so where's the TP I need TP TP for my bunghole <laughs> who did your current emotes it's a uh, chromatoid that's a emote artist Oh no, wait. So, again, I need, no, that's the wrong one. I need that one and then remesh it. Okay, let's wait. <laughs> I knew that TP Crouch reference was going to come at some point. Yes. How 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 could I not? So about yeah, X particles. I I don't have that many particle stuff going on in my scenes, so. That's why I don't use X particles. Is it done? Not yet, right? Okay, we'll, we still wait. Are there any questions? Because while it's remeshing, I can answer questions. Give me the questions, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, no, never mind. It was faster than I thought. Okay. Then let's just export 
FBX TP TP simulated. How are you doing? Oh, okay, wait. Uh, what are, what's the name of the program? It's called Marvelous Designer. It's actually a Korean software. How are you doing? Um, good, a little bit tired. Oh, okay. The, the other person answered that. It's the Neuronch. New, Neuronch. Neuronch. Do you have a go-to OCIO or just rock with us RGB? Um, I work with ACES. So um, C4D is set up with ACES. Um, so we are using ACES as RGB and then I have in Photoshop, I load the ACES like the, the EXR with the ACES profile and uh, use two LUTs to convert from ACES to sRGB and retain the color data. And then on top, then I just uh, convert it down in a smart object to a 16 bit and do my post on, on top of that. So I have a 32 bit in a container pretty much with ACES and ACES to sRGB on top of that. And yeah. That's my workflow. Sadly, um, you can't really, um, like in C4D, at least in that version, I think the latest version that just came out has the ability to display uh, OCIO uh, ACES in, in, in the picture viewer, but this one doesn't have the ability. So I only have like the IPR where I work in from Octane and there I can see the, the correct result but um, outside of that, I don't. Okay, uh, TP, TP for my bunghole. So that is not the one. Um, that's the one. And then we just merge the, oh, it didn't even save at, okay. Cornelius with the worldwide audience. What are the criteria for using Substance Painter? Um, so you need an UV unwrapped model. Uh, yes. So single object weld, you say. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, so you need an UV unwrapped model, then you export it into Substance and then you bake your base maps like normals and uh, curvature, ambient occlusion, and then you can work from there. I've been playing with AGX OCIO for landscape stuff and it's killer preferred over ACES. I didn't even know there was something like AGX. I said like a different uh, color space then different from from aces or is that like something special for what 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 was that uh, developed for uh, did you use marvelous to crush those cans in 6088 ad uh, no i think the crushed cans were a soft body sim in c4d simulated all right okay that's just one object that's fine i forgot to do that can we still do that though uh, let me think so we can do that Oh. 
I mean, that looks cool. From my understanding, it's an updated similar OCR to Blender Filmic. Really nice. Oh, I didn't know that. I might check that out. Is that the implementation is probably the same as in with with uh, Aces, right? Okay, so we have our so that's the TP. That's the TP package, right? So TP, let's call it also TP. And that's the uh, TP wrapper. And this one, so we probably need the UVs though. Uh, I think the islands are already correct. So let's just check really quick in Rhythm. And now all the questions are, hey, what's that program? <laughs> okay, so I think if we just repack that, it should work. Okay, never mind. Then let's just do that here really quick. So we have... Wait, we need the UV editor, right? 2D pattern window, UV editor. Can't we just distribute that like that? Align, fit to UV. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Then we just export the whole thing again. Export FBX. Weld, yes. So, that we don't need. We just need the merge. So, now it should be right. Yes. So, TP wrapper. And then we do that again. Nice. And these we all don't need. So, now we can maybe try to shade that, I would say, right? So let's go to our shading scene. Probably need to resum that anyway. So. <laughs> so shading scene 01 that was. Rhythm UV or Marvelous Designer? Uh, both. <laughs> hey, what's the program? Oh, you're Chroma Dojo, right? Who's Chroma Dojo? Uh, how does the actual result feel different when making the same fabric in C4D and Marvelous? Marvelous uh, way faster. So, yeah, Marvelous is very fast. Okay, so we need a TP wrapper. Oh, Aaron Westwood is Cro Chroma Chroma Dojo. Did I did I do I know that Chroma Dojo? I know Aaron Westwood. Oh, that's that's the the Insta name. I see. Why I'm not following you, Mr. Aaron Westwood? Everyone follow Aaron Westwood. Oh, I love these so much. That's one fine looking grass patch, my man. Epic. 
Are you using what? What are you using? Gaia or World Creator? Oh, the short film for World Creator. Yeah, I think I, I've, I, I've seen that. Wait, how long is My it? My world was what I made of it. Is that okay if we watch that, Mr. Aaron and Westwood? What I made was not fulfilling. Epic. I was in pieces, scattered and stretched to the highest heights and the deepest depths. I was in pieces. I was stuck. So unsure, unfulfilled, craving more. But the answers were always waiting for a simple invitation, a surrender of control to begin transformation. Revelation brought change and a new level of insight. From a place of nothingness now came purpose and life. I am a product of creation. I am more than enough. I am who I am regardless of the past. I am ever changing, always moving, growing, learning and improving. My world is what I make of it. I am deeper than the oceans and more complex than the stars. There is so much that makes up who I am. I am gentle. I am proud. I am grand and courageous. I am loud. I am the collection of past seasons and present. Every moment well spent to lead me to now. Now I am whole. Make no mistake, I am a work in progress and delighted to be perfectly imperfect. But what was lost has been returned. My cries were never left unheard. I want every fiber of every spirit to know this truth that I now know. Your world is what you make of it. I have many questions. <laughs> Many questions. Okay, so speed tree. Octane, Quixel, Max. So no Houdini. That is inc insanely good. Insanely good. Let's pack up. Let, let's end the stream right here. <laughs> uh, pee pee. Give me one second. Where is the... That's the one I was looking for. No? Okay. Uh, was a fun one for sure. I, so, but seriously, is that is that... Is that just C4D in Octane, or is there like I would think that landscapes of that scale in C4D are quite difficult, right? Like I mean, you do it with Word Creator, but then from there on, what's the process like? There's was there like some degree of Houdini action, or what's the other one? I just want to know your pipeline so I can steal from you. 
So why is here no thin film? We had the problem once. I thought it was here in the transmission, thin wall. Maybe it, that's that's the one, right? And then we just use a float texture, put it into the, the transmission, set it to one. No, okay, never mind. Um, then I think we just need a normal octane material. And that's the one, right? So if we set this to specular GTX, and then we can do thin wall. Oh, also maybe put it here. Okay, that looks like ass. I mean, no, let's, let's do the real deal. Let's just, let's just go with the, with that one. Maybe we can add thickness to it. Set the IOR to, okay. When, when Raphael tells us to do that. Oh, it was 1.3. But still, looks kinda meh. It looks like a thin film. <laughs> I'm not happy. Roughness. Still not happy. I will just add a thickness to the mix. Wait, actually. Give me a second. So um, we can actually do that here. So we have that rendering thickness. So if we do like 0 0.1 and we can also, I hate this. So we can add the thickness here. That's wrong, sorry. Um, like here. I think we can also export it with that thickness. Height maps all world created and from there it's just C4D and Octane. That's it, it always one of one of these things were kilometers and times kilometers, kilometers, I <laughs> only had 2080 TIs at the time, so all fit within the VRAM with only the pine scenes going out of core. It was a juggle. Three minutes per frame render time at four 2080 TIs. Crazy. Uh, that gives me hope <laughs> that I can do something like that one day. Uh, okay, let's do TP simulated part two, maybe we can export it with thickness. Thick, single object, yes. So let's just load it into here. TP. So let's check on the inside. Actually, you should be able to see that. Yes, thickness. 
Here we are. So just that. Might be really thick now. I say the same looking at your stuff, the detail and storytelling you get in there is unreal. Oh man, that's such a great compliment, especially coming from you. <laughs> I mean, thank you so much. It's very kind. I really want to do landscapes now. <laughs> Maybe I just do landscape project next time. Or like I try. So actually what I want to do is, um, so I have like the, um, the, uh, I want like to do a medieval scene with like a, like a path that's in, in the forest or something like that, or not in the forest, like just a, in a landscape somewhere in a valley or something. And there's like a small path, a footpath, and there's a giant tree that's like all weird, right? And they hang people there. And then there's like two knights digging up a grave. And I wanna, uh, I wanna do that. And the thing is that so much nature stuff, I never did really a lot of nature scenes or with trees and everything so there is like a lot of question marks um, for that <clears throat> but i'm sure that i will try to do it one at one at some point so hey i i might hit you up for some help <laughs> like but uh speed tree is it good do you like speed tree Are you a fan of the speed tree? Oh no, that's too, that's too five maybe. How much does S24 RC cost? Uh, I don't know, go to Maxon website. <laughs> Let's check it out. Maxon.net. I wonder why people buy perpetual and cinema for the updates here. There's no perpetual for a C4D. You can't buy a perpetual. So buy just C4D 700 euros, 740 euros a year. <coughs> and that is also a little bit too rough. Something like that, that's actually too wide. Um, so let's get back to one. Mm, maybe 250. Also, see, step things, yeah, that's correct. Okay, it can do it all sounds like like I need it. Is it like uh it's expensive, right? I I've heard it's really expensive. Also the cinema version is probably like speed tree cinema, I mean. Wait, speed tree cinema. <laughs> what is that? Choose your license. Just the modeler. Indie. Am I indie? Revenue funding under 100k. Well, this year it's one under 100k. That sounds about right. We fit right in. In the middle. Nice. What's that? Render man. 
R? What's the R? Render man. All right. Maya, Max. I don't know what that is. Clarice. Oh, yeah. That was the other thing I was wondering about. What's that? That's the Redshift logo? Really? All right. No Octane, though. <laughs> okay, so... That's the package. We can do the textures. Look at the speed, speed tree reel on YouTube. Super cool. Nice. Uh, wait, shall we do that? Speed tree reel. That one? Ooh. Wait, look at that. Wait, sorry, I'm impatient. Oh, that's all speed tree. That's some fancy trees. Okay, I think that's a very nice assortment of. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. Uh, that's a very nice assortment of TP rolls. Have you seen the game Stray? It's been reminding me of your 608880 project. Uh, yes, I've seen it. I've played it. It's very good. Uh, okay, so why don't we use for the TP? So for the outside, we can also use SSS, right? So I just go and do another random walk medium. Random walk all the way. <laughs> and then we do like really high roughness, like eight. And then we do an albedo of that. Now it looks like foam. And then we do like 1,000. What's random walk? Random walk is a different uh, SSS algorithm. So you have like the normal scattering and absorption medium and random walk is a different one. It's a newer one, more modern, a little bit slower, but uh, more precise and everything. Is it very fast? I thought it was slower. <laughs> In reality, the TP rolls are just flattened trees, so you're in the ballpark. <laughs> I'm, that's basically and technically a nature scene. <laughs> All right, so, but this it's not looking like TP. So that means we have to wait. Maybe we have to go even higher. I need like a bump for that, like like a circular thing. You know, uh, is there like a way? There was that note, like the Ennis, like Raphael. You you remember that? The the anisotropical metal scratches, like metal. No. Ani, so no. 
We use that in one material for the cans. Wait, can't we just open that one? Also, the time is running out. It just turns out this will be a regular uh, time screen, uh, stream and not like a short one as I wanted. But hey. <laughs> so we had that thing here. Where is it? Cables? No. It was food cans? No. Soda cans? Caps? No. Food cans. This one. No, that was actually. No, no, it was actually in, in, in a substance painter. <laughs> now I remember. Why oh, shit? Um. So no way to do that procedurally. I want to do like. You know like circular anisotropic riff like riffles <laughs> i don't know if there's a word for that like little little bumpy stuff also it's extremely hot in here wait i have to turn off uh turn, like get out of this pullover just a second uh, be right back. Hello. <laughs> I have a C40 shirt today. <laughs> Okay, so we need uh, something for that, the outside. No, not for that. I don't need substance, but I just wanted to have like in, in a bump material. So wait, I will just. Let's go. Give it to me. Here we have that, right, and then we need noise, maybe. Like, I want circular noise, pretty much. Maybe you can do that. Could you do it with the C4D noise? I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's also like a projection thing. If I do it like that, if I do um, cylindrical projection, soft, something like that. And in here, we can just stretch it, maybe. Uh, then turn it. No, maybe not that. No. Uh, so wait. Hmm. Also, what if we do that? Then it's completely 3D, right? Like that, but circular. 
Is there a way to do that procedurally? Like a circular noise kind of thing. Maybe with turbulence. No, turbulence the same. No, it's just like that. It won't be able to like... What if we... Go back to mesh UV, but it doesn't look, doesn't look like that, no. Let me think. So if you have, you can do it if you have a plane. So it's flat projected and then you just turn it so that actually should be able to work but not like that hmm spherical projection no that's spatial where's spherical and then what Wait, also, we don't need that. Let's just do one and then fit to object. I don't get it. My mind can't comprehend what's happening right now. Let me think. My favorite word. Let me think. Cubic. No, cylindrical is that. That happens when we do that. Try upper polygon separate. Well, that doesn't matter right now, really. So it's that's not the issue. Uh, uh, uh we can also just use a texture for that. But still, I want to find out. Actually, I have a texture for that. Thank you, Billy. Though Billy has the answer. Um, yes, I will just use a texture for that. Um, and the texture is here in the textures thing. So max.net. This one, what's that? Ew. 4k 8-bit blurred 8-bit let's take the blurred one also what's this Ew. okay we don't need that let's just take this one That's weird. Too 
Okay. Oh, it's too big. Hmm. That's not right. But you can still see it. Already see it, I mean. Maybe that's even enough. Stretch the noise in the other dimension. Thick sheets, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, guys. Um, so now we indeed have to. Um, that's the inside. To select these. And the bottom part as well. Let's do that and then store the selection. Top, just call it top. Oops, top. Loop cuts and small extrusions. Yeah, that's also pro. Uh, it would also work. But let's just try it like that. So, wait, that's TP. That's the file. File. TP. Uh, TP top, tip top, and that's TP sides. So TP sides and top on top. TP sides don't get the benefit of that. And let's go to 1750. Also with the top one. Uh, 1750. Also, we need like a pattern on here. It can actually have an idea. So we have the sides, right? If we do cubic and then go here again. No, not cubic, cylindrical. Uh, where is it? Cylindrical or the sides and we choose this or that let's choose the cross yes also top you can also we will just resize them later it's just for now just to play around with so bump all right now we are talking okay there's a little that's a little bit of uh almost no that's an x then Let's, let's just go with that one. Oh, how did you do that? Now oh, I feel stupid. <laughs> Thank you. So, wait. You did noise. Is that C4D noise? Yeah, that's the C. That's not the C. That's the octane noise. So. Wait, let's do that again. So we have that projection. But what's the projection like? How does the projection look? Impulse. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. 
I need the projection. Give me the projection. Da, 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 da. Not that one. It's very cool. Oh, look at that. This is mesh UV. Can we do triplanar as well? No, can oh, can we? No, it's not. No, it's that's stupid. It doesn't work. No. Oh wait. No. Never mind. I thought I had like this brain fart. actually too big as uh, too small like maybe like that i mean it's the same octane just switches us to uh spherical and mesh uv just takes the projection method from here so technically but that looks cool let's do it like that and then we can idea um we can feed that into uh octane gradient and feed that in the albedo and this looks shit but we can do it like like that still looks like shit so let's do white here and then here like they maybe like okay no never mind can we do like 99 hell yeah one texture less to worry about mm -hmm. thank you very much impulse i appreciate it that you fix my stupid uh, stupid stupid mistakes now we need the cardboard thing i mean we won't see it up close so let's just make it really quick inside call it inside and you can actually also not see that on the sides it's just <laughs> uh, it's just not let's, let's just not bother and file inside inside it was So that's like a brownish paper thing. Don't we actually have a brownish paper thing? Hello. Almost.
Almost. Uh, cylindrical, can we do that? So let's just do that. Nice. I would maybe remove the bevel on the toilet paper because uh, paper scraps. No, but I have this one here and it's just also it's not like that important really it's just like to sell the illusion so we will go like that anyway and then we do that and like from a distance like if we do that save it first Never used them, but doesn't Octane have some procedural patterns for the sides? Uh, just tuned in. Are you dealing with toilet paper today? Yes, Alex. Just a tiny bit. Let's just have a look. I don't know, guys. I'm happy with that. Uh, I mean, we need a print for that. But I think we will do that in the next stream. Because it's 5 p.m. now. Yeah, I mean, we can, like, make a whole branding thing for that. <laughs> But it's um, maybe the foil, I don't know, but I think it looks all right. Doesn't it? Mm, maybe more dense. So thickness was obviously the right call. Maybe that's too dense now. Let's do 375. What if we do that? Okay, that's too dense. Okay, let's just try and copy that. Uh... And so TP package, yes, is that already TP, yes, Scene getting bigger and bigger. Crazy to see he's using something he's going to wipe his bum with later as a reference. Well, that's commitment, right? Uh, what's the VRAM? It's a lot. It's um, 13 gigs so far. So we have 24 to go. And it's 
uh, 13. So seven, like we have seven left. And there has to be a whole lot to go in there still. Uh, are you using NVLink? No, I don't. Uh, maybe I could, but NVLink is not like a magical connect two cards and everything is nice thing. So it's still, it has downsides. But um, um, maybe I don't even have an NVLink bridge to be honest. So maybe I need to invest in that. How much is an Envy Link bridge? It's cheap, right? Oh, it's perfect, guys. Look. Back then it was around 100 euro. Oh, yeah. You need to make sure you get one with the right spacing depending on where your motherboard spaces out the two cards. So I have um, secondary slot, then the 3090 goes in there, then one spare slot. And then another 3090. So it's seven slots. <laughs> I don't know. It's either like 80 or 300 dollars, depending on which length you need. Oh, <laughs> oops. Can't we just copy paste them with like one missing? It's like, really, it's the perfect fit for that shelf. And let's do that one. The, the old switcheroo. Actually, no. The one in the middle needs the old switcheroo. Okay. Moment of truth. Did we save it all? Just in case it crashes. Uh, that we don't need. All right. Uh, Gernge, did you ever use um, NVLink for your scene or something like that? Does it? Is it like I heard? Is what out of core or NVLink? One of them can't do RTX. Imagine having to render that scene without RTX. Okay, now time for the fish tank. <laughs> I mean, we can do like a spherical one with a goldfish, maybe. I don't know, but not not on the shelf. Out of core can't do RTX. Oh, but out of core, so NV Link. Uh, out of course, the one that goes to your hard drive or in the system's memory, I don't know. And NVLink is the other one. So out of core can do RTX. That means like if you just set it up in Octane 
and not use envy link that's the one right Arjun Henjo, thank you so much for your prime sub. Somehow the notifications are broken. Once again, I can't hear shit from the alerts. You have to go, Tommy. Bye. Have a nice weekend. I will just render here. Didn't I press that already? Oh, okay. Never mind. It's very slow. Yeah, so we have 6.7, but we didn't optimize well yet. So there's still room for optimizations. And it feels, yeah, it feels quite slow right now. But it's also like uh, we have the very high res preview size here and everything. So, yeah. But we're, we are in a state right now. Um, so it's it's only going to be worse for me. <laughs> so TP. Hmm. How responsive are your other scenes like 68880? Way worse. So if you open 6088 AD and don't turn off any generators, you have like 0 0.5 FPS or something like that. It's really bad. It's unusable bad. Okay, so maybe not use this one. And Freddy sits da nicht, Junge, komm bald wieder. <laughs> I, I know who you are. Hey, you sit there, Junge, come back wieder. How how are you, Hajun Henjo? Did I pronounce that right? <laughs> and Silverwing uh, is. Uh, I am almost certain that you will run into problems with your scene. There are very very few PVs in every link, even fewer that use it with Octane, but there are a ton of bugs in there because no one uses it. Yeah, I think we'll just optimize it like crazy. And then um, yeah, I don't know. Yes, fine. And you, how, how is, how is How's, how's the noodle man? Hajun Hanjo. 6088 AD scene almost burnt my house a few years back. Really? Like, did your PC die or was that like a figure of speech? Okay, so maybe we can. We can actually. Do it like that. It's so heavy already. I mean, it's also super high poly, but Octane can take polys well, so it's not bad. Octane doesn't have a problem with high poly stuff. Just like, I mean, it doesn't impact the VRAM as, as much. Uh, Octane obviously has a problem with high poly stuff because it gets really, really slow at some point but um yeah so wait can we actually turn that one off i almost forgot i have a friend who nearly bricked his rig trying to open 68 ad 
He's noodling on the couch, Hajun Hanjo. Gre greetings to the noodle man. Okay, so... We go here. And... This one's gonna go here. I feel that it's not looking that great, but hey. Oh, also wrong camera. When I did 6088 AD, I had to render that on Titan X Maxwell. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And um, the Titan X Maxwell had 11 gigs of v, uh, VRAM. So I couldn't, um, I couldn't do that with Windows 10. So I had to stay on Windows 7 just to render that scene. And it was like a hit or miss. I had to turn off everything that can use, potentially use VRAM on the system. And then it was starting to render, hoping it would render. And then like four, like I had in five tries, three would fail. So it would just crash or give me an error in the log. And then the whole thing took over 50 hours to render. So right now, if I render that now, I open that scenes and press the render button, it will render in, like in an hour in the original in the original resolution. It's insane. But yeah, 50 hours or something like that. It was incredibly painful. Also, I was super afraid to touch the PC <laughs> because uh, if it would crash, I would, I don't know. I would suffer a lot. Uh, when you render, do you render with a picture viewer or the render queue in C4D? With the um, picture viewer, but I think actually I might have done that with the render queue because the picture viewer also takes up VRAM. So. Yes. The TP the foil is too opaque. Let's try to lower this one back to 250. Uh, any chance we could ever get a peak? at the SSS you use to skin on Blitz. Yes, sure, you can do that. Uh, maybe next stream, though. Uh, on So I will stream on Monday again. And if you guys, if you are still there, can you remind me of that? Then I can show you. Yeah, using the render queue is nicer since it can be started with the scene closed, not open C4D. Can you actually use the um, render slave feature though, Gernsch. So if you just have one PC, okay, but is it also possible to use the um, network slave here, network render? Uh, that was wrong. No, it wasn't actually. So let's do a little more. Do you have a favorite project to date? Uh, yeah, it's 2003. I don't know if you know that. Um, wait, there, there it was, right? Uh, no, that, that, uh, that one. And Blitz, probably. 
Blitz was really nice. I really liked Blitz. No distributed rendering and retro for to be computers can render one single frame. So no experience with the Octane render slave stuff. Most of my render times goes to animation, so I split the frame sequence up. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, then... Because I need that feature from Octane, I don't think the render queue can do that, then. Um, give me... Maybe that... Move it way back. I mean, does that look like toilet paper? We still miss the design though, so there will be a design, right? Let's just try that. So then we have that wire thing around the bomb. Let's do that really quickly. And then we are done for the day. So, yes, this one needs a different shader, though. Where's the bump? The bump. So, the ropes need something different. What, though? <laughs> Is there, like... Wait, didn't we have... No, let's do... That. And then we had metal. We had really cool metal. Which one was it? Let's do PC backside. Oh, please don't crash. Snowtail subscribed with a oh, all all the all all the cool guys are coming now. Hello, hello Snowytail. Sadly, I can't hear the Prime sub alerts right now for some reason. But I welcome you to that fine stream. Also, that's the wrong one. What the fuck? So that goes to the bomb. And this goes here, and this goes here, and this needs a material. Okie dokie. So let's do green. Let's keep it simple. We can refine that on Monday. I just need to end the stream very soon. So diffuse NGGX energy preserving should be fine. They could always rename Octane to please don't crash if they ever want to rebrand. Yeah, actually, but to give them that in the stream, uh, it very rarely crashes. It's really stable. So we have this. Okay, I think I am a fan. The ropes are a little thick, though. But, hey, I do, like, during the weekend, I will probably uh, stare at this for quite some time. So, yes, let's try it. Moin, Grüß aus Dresden, MacRae. Oh, MacRae from C4D Network is here. C4D Network. That's the, was commonly known as the Blue Forum, now it's the Red Forum. <laughs> and yes, welcome, MacRae. Okay, so this is done. This is, I don't know, we will find out. Um, we didn't f end up filling that space, but that's okay. So that's okay, that's done, no, not done. This is almost done, this is maybe done. We have a bike here. An unshaded bike. Actually, wait. 
die bike also why are we what's with the vram or oh, maybe i should close this one should i point out that the ropes would not be that round but the upper would be deformed due to tension no <laughs> That's fine. That's a lot of VRAM consumption. For what? I mean, we have these. Wait, that's the, the good old bug with a picture. With a picture viewer of Windows that just won't close while I'm streaming. Okay, bike. I can see that work. We have to shade that still. Uh, TP needs a design. Speaking of VRAM, see what it says if you turn out the top traffic light. The top traffic light on all the geometry. What? So mean like of all of the null objects here. So, oh, I know it. So you mean if we don't use the viewport at all. So visible and editor off, you mean. For the whole scene. I don't know if that did something now. I mean, technically it did. But also, like, you, you've seen that. It jumped from, like, having, like, 7 to, to 6 and five, uh, 4, then to 5. So maybe there's, like, something happening in the background or so. Uh, I guess that means that we have to do a few runs of optimization once once more. Also, we can still free one gig up if we go with the parallel samples to 16. And yes, I think that's it. And there's like still a ton of textures that we need to resize so for example there's this this picture here i think it's 8k yeah that's an 8k map this one too um so that these are the labels for the um for the bottles and everything so they don't need that these are one 8k as well that's i don't know how big that is that's also 8K. So I will just resize them all and then render that. Maybe I do that off stream even because that's not like very yay. Or actually, guys, let's do that now. As we say in Germany, was soll der Geiz? Oh, what's that? Uh huh. Can see that and what's that? Uh-huh. Okay. So um oh fuck. Come back. Okay, so we want these all to be smaller. I wish there was some sort of IPR view overlay showing where all the VRAM is going. I think 
I don't know how accurate that was, but there was this materials texture manager thing that can display how much VRAM you use, but I don't know if that's accurate or if that's like something, right? Was what's that video solid? I don't know what that means. Okay, that's the fire extinguisher stuff. Maybe we should add that to the fire extinguisher. Oh wait, let's delete unused materials. Now it crashed. Nice. For the first time today. Hey, do you use Blender? It, I really get why it does. This is a meme now. So, uh, no, I, I'm not using Blender. I'm not a Blender user. Okay, hello, 8K texture. Let's just resize you. Or even slower, uh, not slower, smaller. Okay, we'll just um, open them all. Like that, and let's just open them all. Then I wouldn't have crashed then. You sure about that? <laughs> uh, okay, that's already pretty small. And that's 25%. Uh huh. Yes, please. Actually, why is that in there? Okie dokie. Thanks for the stream and sharing. Planet Zomex, super great seeing you as a sale. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much for hopping by, hopping in, being in the stream. Thank you very, very much, Aaron. It was my pleasure, and you are a huge inspiration to, I think, all of us. So, thank you. Oh, we just lost a ton of progress. Well, shit. Uh, do we have a backup? Yes, we have. Nice. Or as they say, nice. It's a trivial thing do, uh, to do that I'm sure you know the trick, but are the black and white images imported as a float to reduce the VRAM impact? Yes. Most of them are. So wait, let's see. Okay, that's all nice and working. This one is uh, rope. This one is, let's call them clamp. Clamp, TP, all is there. Then we just create a new 
like number 14. All right, so we resized some of the textures. Let me think what else. Also, we have our fine plugin here. So which one is the biggest one? TP simulated, of course. TV body. Oh yes. And the back of the monitor. How many polygons we have? 25 million. That's still okay. Lots more to come though. <laughs> Um, but okay, let's still render that one more time and see how it impacts the scene now, if at all. <laughs> Oh, we have so many browser windows open. I will check the texture manager soon and see if there's something like if that is accurate. I think I've I've so 13 now, see? And it's seven, almost seven. And it jumps, I think. It would be cool if we can go down to ten. That would be amazing. From this state. If we replace all the textures so if we don't wait no what are so i i made a version where i replaced all the textures maps with just just one color and it was like back then it was six gigs or something like that or seven and i think like geo wise It's uh, not that bad. I think the biggest hurdle are the the, the uh, texture maps, but we will see. Also, wait, let's just try that. If we put this to 16. I don't know, will something happen right away? Oh, see, then it's 12. So that's one gig, more than one gig. It's slower now though. But that's fine, I can live with it. <laughs> but for now, let's keep 32 just because we can. Also, what is AI light actually? Does that make stuff faster? Shall we try that? You look so tired. Yes, I'm very tired. <laughs> Uh, but I'm, that's like, sometimes I just like, it's super addicting. I 
like wait we can actually do that let's try that so save project with assets right and then let's do a folder they call that no text or something like that and then corner store no text test uh yeah What? That one. No. No. Okay, there is st it's still trying to find these texture maps. That's bad. Rectangle disk, etc. Okay, well. Let's reset this. And this is the no text test, right? So that means if we delete everything except like the light one, like we need all the lights still. So all of that shit. Okay, not the screen. All the plastic, fridge at, uh, yes, that can go LED, no. So no light, cables, glass, plywood, outside, fridge. I guess Oh wait That glass to be keep. Uh, oh, what that is, let's just keep it. Everything that's called LED, we just keep. Okay, and then like that. And then we need to get rid of all the materials. So we can, can we just put everything in one? Null? No, that wouldn't work, right? It would destroy everything. Wouldn't it? Just really quickly. Oh no, actually then I delete the lights as well. Never mind. Okay, uh, yeah, then let's just accept that. So this goes, and now we don't have any textures. So that's the texture test without textures, and then we see how much the geo actually right <laughs> i don't think it's that bad so we have how much did we have 16 no 12 right 13 13.9 13 something or maybe the geo is actually that bad no it's eight okay so geo is eight and textures are math so textures aren't that bad actually hmm 
So maybe we should go a little bit more low point. <laughs> Hello, infrared visuals. So we have eight power. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, that's five gigs for textures. And the rest is just geo. Other ways you can render instances better. I mean, there's stuff I can just get rid of. Like the cans or boxes of stuff instead of clones instances. What do you mean? Like, I mean, isn't that is there's nothing more savory? Like, or not savory? That's the wrong word. Um nothing you can isn't in, in, in render instance just the best thing you can do is there something that saves more that's actually looking pretty cool though <laughs> When you have duplicates of stuff, it's render instance, not instances, correct? Yes. So let's see. Let's close this one. Go back to this one. I mean, we can go through the list like we have that list can just go through and like for example back monitor you don't even see that you can just like disable that so you go there right Ooh. wait where's the room that's that. It, I actually don't need that. So, <laughs> oh, well, maybe. Or can we just get rid of that? Yes, we can. So that's one thing that's not in the scene. Is it? Back monitor. Okay, it still registers it. Hmm. That's TV body. That's that. It's very high poly. Okay, maybe we can do something. That's 150k. That's the um, ETP. Okay, maybe I will, we can try to, to reduce that, but not now. We don't want to remesh it. I don't think that remeshing will solve that problem. Remeshing doesn't necessarily save polygons. It just makes a better mesh. There's like poly reduction that you can use. But so far, like that's not a like what two two hundred k for one object is still not that bad. It's, it's still okay. I mean, there's people who say, well, dude, my biggest mesh is like 10k, but still, that's, yeah, well, good for them, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, I mean, we can do that, right? If we use poly reduction. And say, Preserve UV boundaries and everything. Can we maybe delete these? Okay, that's not looking good. Uh, because it's double, si uh, double sided. Maybe that. Hmm. 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> but we will find a way. So, no problem so far. What else is there? Smart poly chart. Is that mesh body? Mesh body, first aid. Oh, okay, that's the first aid kit. Yeah, that we can reduce. Tooth and door, okay. But then everything else is just not that bad. SDS stuff, yes. Can't we just use that? All right, that's all the SDS stuff we have. We can maybe reduce it here. Oh, it's already at one, okay. Maybe we can go to zero, actually. Uh, yeah, okay, we can try. Also, this one. No, that we leave. I mean, we see all the SDS stuff, right? So that's that, but that's instanced. Um. Oh, this one is crazy. Okay. Hey there, is that a Chief Tech CS601 Dragon case in Lowest Row? Yes, I think that is. Why is that bar graph not turned sideways so it's easier to read? I have no idea. It's We have 1,000 instances. Okay, but I think we are in a good place still. No panic yet. Actually, what I wanted to try Let's try that Um, Maybe wait, I still I still want to do that Sorry Plenty streamers and I only stream like a couple hours. Don't you feel like six hour streams too long? Exhausting. Uh, yeah, but that I can't just work three hours on that. Then there's no way that we are done at some point. So I stream all the progress I do on the scene. I stream. So I have to stream the whole day. Okay, but I think we'll, we're going to end it now. <laughs> um. So guys. Thank you so much. Is Meats still streaming? Didn't we say we will rate him? Meats. Yes. Okay. So. We will rate Mr. Meats. 
and then uh, we see each other again on Monday. Guys, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much. And take care, guys. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm really tired. I think it was a great stream. We made a lot of progress or maybe not that much, but a little bit. And yeah, I'm very happy. I'm excited of what comes next. Soon we can add the robot and I will look more into optimization. <laughs> All right, guys. Goodbye and have fun with uh, Mr. Meats. Bye-bye.